This is a HeadGum Podcast. One of the brothers knew more about potatoes than anyone in the world. I don't think French fries will ever be that good again. This was architect Stanley Clark Meston describing one of the eponymous McDonald brothers, as quoted in a 1989 LA Times profile by Dirk Sutro. Meston had a lengthy, esteemed career in his field, but is remembered for creating the architectural feature that evolved into the most famous logo in fast food, the Golden Arches. Opting to take a flat fee as payment as opposed to a revenue share, Meston's stroke of branding genius ultimately only netted him fractions of a penny on the dollar, a financial fate paralleled by the McDonald brothers themselves, who were purged from their own company by craven philanderer Ray Kroc, much like how Eduardo Saverin got blocked from Facebook by Mark Zuckerberg. As important as the Arches logo itself is the company's colorway, red and yellow, a stop-slow combo that ironically, according to one psychologist, evokes speed and quickness. By 1968, the Arches design and its red-yellow palette were effectively set in stone, and so over the subsequent decades, the logo embedded its way into children's brains like a mind flayer parasite, creating lifelong associations with the brand as a kind of nourishment absolute. So naturally, when a plant-based McDonald's simulacrum opened in Los Angeles on Valentine's Day 2022, it chose the red and yellow colors as shorthand, along with a Helvetica-adjacent font similar to Mickey D's own. Named for founder Charlie Kim, the brand initially went viral via Lizzo Review, and today draws vegan and vegan-curious diners to its outposts in LA, San Francisco, and Sydney to sample its frowny meals and Nada Burgers. In the intervening years, McDonald's has abandoned its own plant-based protein sandwich, the McPlant, leaving clones like this to fill the void. Whether the concept's momentum ultimately pushes the Big M back to veggie burgers, or they instead keep feeding Americans unending demands for cheap, low-quality meat, one has to admit, architect Stanley Clark Meston was right about the fries. This week on Doughboys, Mr. Charlie's. Welcome to Doughboys, the podcast about chain restaurants. I'm Nick Weiger, along with my co-host, director of the Oscar-nominated Calzone of Interest, Jonathan Bathtub Glazer, (laughs) the Spoon Man Mike Mitchell. Jonathan Bathtub? Yeah. Like you're glazing tubs. Oh, Glazer. Bathtub Glazer. Bathtub Glazer. Sorry. Alex from Seattle sent that in, roastedbirdfuck.com. Why did I, I just pick up on the Jonathan Bathtub? When glazer was the word I should have been That's thinking That's what of. you're glazing. Mm-hmm. Bathtubs. Mm-hmm. Calzone Get of interest. I, I know. I, 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 I got it, I guess. Calzone of interest about food. Yeah, yeah, yes. Bath the movie about the, the Holocaust movie. There was a joke on that. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. what that was a play on the that Holocaust That was a play movie. on. Ooh. The, like, very hard to watch movie that is very sad. We changed it to Cal's. This guy changed it to Calzone of interest. Yes, and then the the director uh, who gave a you know a, a, a fiery speech at the Oscars, uh, mm-hmm. ba- Jonathan Bathtub Glazer, about jacking off. Mm-hmm. I think this is a perfect Food joke and a jack off. I think it's joke. the perfect roast. I think it's a pretty good roast. Yeah, Alex, thanks for sending that in. Jonathan Bathtub Glazer I haven't glazed the tub. Oh, not true. <laughs> <laughs> I did recently. Uh, not this morning, Wags. Let me tell you. Hey, good for you. You took a break. <laughs> Give yourself this, a day off every now and then. Once this again. morning, I, I get in. Yeah. Uh, this morning, technically before noon. Sure. I get in the shower, ice cold shower. Oh boy. And it's 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 the. I guess I don't know. I don't know if we have any plumbers who listen to the show, but I, we do have some plumbers who listen to this. Show. All right, well, I need your help because I think. It's there's a tankless water heater at my place. Okay. And now I hear that can be like a, both a blessing and a curse. To like, me, it feels like it's only been a curse. Yeah, people are like, "Oh, tankless." That sounds so futuristic, but then it's got all sorts of problems. Well, then where's the water if there's no damn tank? That's what I want to know, Jackie. Yeah, huh? where's the fucking water? Where's the water if there's no tank? I'm with you on this. Uh, it, You're a plumber out there. Give us some answers. Where's the fucking water? Mine gets every <laughs> like every year. I think yeah. you have to. I think you have to service them. Maybe that's why it gets yeah. cold every year. But but like this happens every year. Could be your year. heat. Your heat could be out. Your gas could be out. That could be an issue. It could be the gas. Shit. Good. Your whole house could be burnt up right now because there's a gas leak. 
Wally and Irma are in that house. <laughs> They're fine. Wally and Irma are fine. I should, probably, I should probably head out for the day. Check, this is your, what the... check your ring cam. <laughs> he is going to actually do it now. <laughs> there are two notifications. Okay. Uh-oh. Let me tell you, Wags. Yeah. It was uh, some worm hibernate. You okay? <laughs> you can retake it. Are you cold? Yeah. From your cold shower? There was some worm hibernation, I was going to say. My dick turned into like a walnut. Got it. I got it. Got it. <laughs> You're being playing that a little too subtle there. Uh, I was very... The sh- it was like the coldest shower I've ever taken in my life. It was, wow. it was horrifying. So you just went for it. You're just like, well, I guess I got a shower. I'm pot committed. To- Here's the issue. I didn't shower yesterday. I was, I was, I was, I was cleaning the my place up. I was like being good. I like I, I just spent the whole day cleaning it up, and then I was like, I'm not gonna shower. This is a gross mess today. I'll shower tomorrow morning. You go to bed all gross then? Because yeah, I would want to shower right before I go it. to bed. Yeah, no, I I get that, but I was just whatever. Yeah, I get I, it. You're just you're fatigued. Yeah, yeah. And I want to shower before I came here. Sure, naturally. Yeah, I guess I could do a night shower and then a morning shower, but whatever. I was going to bed. Is it that gross? That yeah, well, that's gross. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's fucking disgusting. <laughs> I'll clean the sheets. I clean my sheets. I don't glaze now you my made sheets. More work for yourself, though. You have to go home and change your damn dirty sheets. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. True. Um, but I was uh, I, I I get in the shower, ice, just ice, the coldest cold Brr. you could imagine. Yeah, it was before it turns to ice. It was the coldest. Have cold. you ever done a cold plunge? No, because those are supposed to be really good for your immune system. Oh wait, have I? I've done a polar plunge when uh on in, in New Year's. We were down Cape Cod, and it was truly one of the worst. I ran into the ocean, but it was low tide. Yeah. And so I was, like, running into the ocean. I could feel it, like, on my legs. I was like, fuck, this fucking, like, hurts. And then, like, had to run out far enough to just, like, sit, get under the water. Yeah. And I thought I was going to have a heart attack. It was not It was not good. Do you do – are you a cold Hell plunger? Hell no. Hell no. Yeah. I'll sometimes do, like, I'll do the steam room at the gym, and then I'll go over and, and go right into a cold shower. That's, that's good. fun. That's yeah. Oh, that's fun. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's not as extreme, I don't think. The cold plunge, I think, is its own thing. Where's the steam Where's the steam shower right here? No. What? I said, where's the steam the shower? The gym. He said the damn gym. Oh, he's in the gym. I didn't hear you. Yeah. All right, the gym. Could you, you introduce me or what? We got Mitch has a <laughs> drop to play. <laughs> it's, Mitch has a drop to play. And what he gym you go, go to? No, don't worry about it. I don't dox my fucking gym. Yeah, he wants some privacy in his life. I want to know what fucking Jimmy goes to. Emma, hit him with a drop. <laughs> you an Equinox words guy? Papers, words and books. I know words. Cantankerous. Words on TV. Words for books. I don't know. It's just a great word, cantankerous. Words to tell you what to do. Here's another word for you. Condensation. Words are working hard for you. Wait. Did you mean condescension? Condescending. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Give me a drop. I condensation. <laughs> It was very schoolhouse rock. Very much yeah. so. It was a good drop. Uh, what was that electric company? What was the source there? Oh, hold on a second. Okay. Let's see here. Let me look this up. Mm. Yeah, take your time. <laughs> Let's see here. All right, well, Holly and Irma look good at the house. <laughs> <laughs> and they're not wearing ventilators. And I can't find the email. So I don't know. Emma. Oh, I sent it an hour. Here, I got it. I can't see it. Uh, it's, Hi, Dofam. I made this drop as a tribute to Mitch's love of words. Back in 2018, I took a date to your Outside Lands show in San Francisco, and somehow she agreed to marry me six years later. Wow. Our wedding is wow. next month. Wow. Thanks for all the laughs. Jordan. Congratulations, Congrats, wow. Jordan. Perhaps they've tied the knot as of this episode's release because we're recording a little bit in advance. Wow. How about that? Congratulations. I hope you get a prenup. <laughs> <laughs> Drops at birdfuck.com. Our guest from Natch Butte, her new live show is How to Get a Second Husband. Would Speaking you... of prenups. <laughs> you can see How to Get a Second Husband live April 21st in, uh, in Dallas and April 28th in Austin. Jackie Johnson is back. The Jackster. The Jackster. And now, because podcasts are all video now, yes. I'm being filmed. <laughs> so y'all can check this out. YouTube.com. People are going to love it. Slash Doughboys There you go. Yeah, check it out. See how I'm looking these days. (laughs) Check out that video. Well, they they certainly don't come to see how we're looking. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> hey, I, listen, the legs on Weiger are looking really good. Thank you. The gym is paying off. Yeah, what, okay. he won't tell me what gym this is. We'll talk about it afterwards. Why don't I fucking say it in front of all oh, the Oh, you're afraid listeners? that the fan, you, you're afraid Doughboy's had... listeners are going to come to your gym? <laughs> Mitch. I had this incident. I told, I said this in the blank dough uh, text thread, our, our our group chat with the with the guys at Blank Check. I had an incident at the gym. Uh, I I I brought spill a change of clothes. What's that? You spill some weights. You fucking. He's a spilly bitch. You say spill some what? Some weights? <laughs> some weights. I thought he said spill some whites. <laughs> That's what I thought. That was like a jacking off thing. No. Yeah. Spilling some whites. whites? <laughs> Spilling whites. <laughs> Pretty like good. The bathtub glazer yeah. again. <laughs> <laughs> the shower was revolting because uh, Mitch was spilling too much whites in there. They're like, "We're going to be cold only from now on. Keep them out of here." Ma, I spilled some whites in my sleep last night. <laughs> Someone snuck into my room and spilled whites all over me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how it happened. Uh, anyway, wait, what happened? What was yeah, the story? Blank Here's the story. Yeah. Here's the story. I was in the blank dough thread. Uh, I, I relayed this previously. I went to the gym. I, and I brought a change of clothes. I I did my my routine. I went in the steam room. I went and I uh, did the did the cold shower. Then I do a uh, you Hog know. out. Yeah, if I have for, what, what am I? Do, do, do. I do want to know that. You ever, you ever hog out on occasion? Yeah, you don't have to be like in full view. Damn. Hmm. All right, now you I gotta really want to know yeah. this gym. No, I'm no, coming no. to this fucking gym. <laughs> no, I think you're. I think people are like, and and if it was European, I think everyone would have their hogs out. I think in a, in an American thing, people are a little bit more modest. No, it so. just you just never know. There's people who are just like blow drying their pubes yeah. freely, I'm and not, then there's more like covering up. I'm not that guy, but yeah. I'm also not the guy who's got the towel wrapped around his waist while he pulls down his underwear and pulls That's on me. a new pair of underwear. Like, That's I'm not me. that modest. That's me. Yeah. That's me. That's no, me. If, yeah. if I have to, like, if I have to, like, whatever, I'll drop the towel for a second and get changed. Anyway, this relates to that because I did not bring a change of underwear. So I I took my shower. I went to get dressed. I had my civilian clothes, and I forgot to bring clean underwear. So I was like, I guess I'll fucking free ball it out of here. So I go, I walk out, no underwear on, and a fan approaches me and says, like, <laughs> Oh my god! Like, hey, I just I, did, I saw you working out. I didn't want to say anything, but I want to say. And he like had a, a conversation. While with you me. were nude, while well, you're free balling. While I, oh no, I had pants on, but I had no like underwear on, so you I feel felt completely exposed. exposed. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that fan is now listening to this episode, going, "That was me." <laughs> <laughs> You had pants on. I know, but I felt very exposed. You ever wear pants without underwear? It's uh, a weird feeling. All the time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I never do. It's perverted. Yeah. Hogs out is a good knives out uh, porn parody. <laughs> it is. It's good. Yeah. No one actually fucks in the end. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's no real mystery. There's yeah. no fucking here. <laughs> it's just dumb. This no is dumb. Fucking. But are the hogs out? The hogs are the out. The hogs yeah, are out, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jackster. Gotta yeah. get to this fucking gym. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just search some gyms here. I'm <laughs> in his area. That. <laughs> gyms in his area. Uh, Jackster, I, I wanted. It's, it's been a, a little bit since we had you on. We talked yeah. about creation yes. last time. Yes. Uh, are you still frequenting creation, the juicery? I don't leave my house much. Okay, sure. But when I'm in the area, you better believe it, baby. I get that orange sunrise. Smoothie with the vegan protein and the coconut water that tastes like Zeus's jizz. Yeah. Oh, right. Yes. Always. I, I still am a fan. Yes. Wow. Okay. We had we had kind of a Zeusy jizz uh, yes. item today. Yes, we, we did. did. Save it. When when you when you were when you were saying we talked about creation, I forgot that it was that. Re- and I was the like, juice place. and I didn't even bat an eye. I was like, yeah, I guess we just talked about like the creation of life or some shit. I thought we were going to like the Old Testament. I mean, thought, I thought maybe we were talking about the Old Testament when I first heard. I keep slamming on Jemmy as I emphasize points. I don't mean to. She's liking I it. I think she's okay with Yeah, it. she's fine. Do y'all remember the episode before that? What I what we did? Mm. Menchies. Oh, Menchies, of course. Of course yeah. I remember Menchies. Menchies, yeah. Menchies. I, like yeah. Menchies. I also haven't been back there in a long time. That That's a whole thing where I think post- COVID, I just have a very different approach towards self serve. Yes, like I'm just like, and we've done some salad bars and such on the podcast, but like a self serve yogurt. I shop wonder if seems they very still unhygienic. even have out the toppings and whatnot. Yeah, I don't know. Some of the places do it behind the counter now. Yeah, but I don't know if Menchie's has migrated to that sort of. Uh, I did like model. Menchie's. I thought it was I did like Menchie's. Fun. Menchie's yeah. is fun. Yeah, I think we gave it four spoons. We maybe did. Yeah. We were pretty. We were pretty emphatic about our our fandom of, of Menchie's back then. But I haven't returned to it not since the podcast. Um, that was pre COVID. Yeah, that yeah, was, with, yeah, y'all that was like have me on every three years. 
So I was here in 2018, 2021, and now 2024. Here we are. Every three years? Yeah. We get up the frequency. We get up the frequency. The show sucks. I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> I wait patiently by the email. <laughs> I'm like, it's three years. Any minute now, I'm going to get that email. <laughs> and it's here. I'm here. From our perspective, we always feel like we're bothering people when we ask them to do this you show. You are. <laughs> Some of us have things to promote. <laughs> I have a show to promote. I'm happy to talk all about it with y'all. Uh, the show is How to Get a Second Husband. Yes. Mm-hmm. Wait, so so t- like, tell us about the show. And you, yeah. you've, uh, as of this episode's release, you'll have done it in LA. Yes. But you're taking it on the road a little bit. Yes. So in 2018, when I came on, I was mm-hmm. with my first husband. Yes. 2021, I came on, I was with my second husband, and I was pregnant with my child secretly. Yes. And now here we are in 2024. I am a mother and I'm still with the second husband. This one seems to be sticking. All right. So I wrote a show. <laughs> it's a motivational um, Tony Robbins-esque seminar about wow. how to change your life in order to like get a second husband. That's the way to really do it. Wow. So we go through all the steps of what you do to get to your second husband. There, I was, I was, I said this as I was, as I was coming in, I saw a car and there was like a baby on board looking sticker on the back. I said, that must be Jackie. She's here. Yeah. And uh, All people that bear children have to put one of those stickers on their car. It's <laughs> and the California would you like, law. Would you like to share what the sticker says? on the? On the, on the uh, it says, baby up in this bitch. <laughs> yeah. Which I saw and I was like, oh, it's definitely Jackie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, all of them are very nice. It's like little stork. It says, baby. And, they're, and I just saw that one. And I was like, yeah. That's, that's perfect. That's it me. Yeah. As they say on the memes. <laughs> I saw a bumper sticker on the highway a little while back that said, MILF, man, I love frogs. That's oh, pretty good. wow. That's good. <laughs> I don't know if that's some aquariums thing or what. I don't yeah. know what the, what the source of it was. but MILF, man, I love, was it, was it a lady? Did you catch a gl- yeah, glimpse? I didn't see who it was. Hmm. Miss Piggy? <laughs> That would have been such a good sighting. It would have been. Oh, I Can love you imagine? Her. Yeah, she's great. I haven't seen a single. Have I seen a Muppet? I haven't seen a single Muppet since I've been in Hollywood. Yeah, I've never seen. I've never Me neither. Well, I'm I mean, it's now shop. twenty years. I yeah. worked at a Jim Henson lot for a while and uh, on a show, and and I never saw a Muppet there. <gasps> wow. I saw the, some Fraggles. I saw the the dinosaurs. Um, I saw some Ninja Turtles, but I did not see the. You ever get confused with that boring ass uh, Muppet Walter? <laughs> Is that the Jason Siegel Muppet yeah. from, the, from the Muppets reboot? <laughs> I just yeah, thought maybe, maybe a few that's times. who the I'm guy at the gym, that's who he thought you were. Yeah. Oh, Walter. <laughs> <laughs> he also doesn't wear underwear. <laughs> Love the Muppets reboot. I like that's, most wanted even more. The birthday boys yeah. wanted to, uh, like we, we talked about having offices at the, Henson, uh, you were on that that Henson. It was on the lot, yeah, yeah. That's cool. It was cool. Kermit is uh, is on is right there at the top of the uh, entrance. Yes, he is. Yeah, it's like a real like it's not the greatest block mm-hmm. because and you know right up the street from it is I think that really uh, that that very high volume Chick fil A and there's like oh, a kind of yeah. shitty Burger King right there. So like it's not like the best like the funnest area. Um, and then there's like a strip club like right across the street. Chick Fil A is a block like a little... over, but still, it is it, there's it, right, right. There's it's, it's a that's, lot that's, of shit. That there. same general area, but it's um, uh, I like that you know your hyper local fast food geography. <laughs> I remember when they ins- <laughs> when they put that in there. That's how long I've been here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because well, that's also like as 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 someone from the south, it's like Chick Fil A yes. was not out here yes. for a long. Time. It was you a ever, huge deal. Did you ever deal. go to yeah. that? It, it, I'm, I'm shaking my head no. I'm sorry for those not watching on YouTube. Um, <laughs> when Chick-fil-A opened downtown, it was 2010, which is the year I went vegan, and I did go and it got waffle fries as like a celebratory wow. moment. Right. Mm-hmm. That's fun. Yeah. That, that Chick-fil-A, I, I was very excited about, and then going in there once, I was like, oh, I'm not going to, this is too This is too much. I maybe had it like three times. Since did the hype ever die down or is there still huge lines every day? There? No, there's still pretty pretty substantial queues. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's died down a little bit, but I, I think now like the, the hype is, the Eye of Sauron is on Raising Cane's as far oh, as Oh, yes. Cane's. But it's still like an people In-N-Out Burger. People love Raising yeah, yeah. Cane's. People love Raising Cane's. Let me tell you something. I was on the way to get a CT scan the other oh. night um, and uh, um. Everything's okay. You should tell people because they're going to oh, worry. Yeah, just everything's, hearing. everything's fine. <laughs> uh, 
They were they were trying to see where my hog went after my cold shower. <laughs> <laughs> Way up there. Wait, uh, is it CT or head scan or no? It's a, it, it can be a full body oh, scan. Did you do a full body? I did uh, abdomen and uh, and chest. I want to do one of those full body ones. They're like fifteen hundred bucks. Oh man, I do not want to do that. I, I do. I want to know everything wrong with me. I'd be so claustrophobic on one of oh, those. Oh, same. I, mean, I want. I wanted out. to get. I wanted to get head. It would. Yeah. I, I wanted to get my head scanned. I think yeah. it would have been worth it. Couldn't fit your head in the machine. <laughs> The radiation also, I guess, is like, it, I mean, it's not like, I, I guess, but it still is like not nothing. Yeah, sure. It's like a- you No, know. you don't want to subject yourself to too many of them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know. And then it turns out that it, there was nothing wrong. Nothing was wrong. Uh, I have a bit of a fatty liver, which is weird because we've hosted a fast food podcast for 10 years. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, but uh, on, on my way over there, Wags, yeah. come to a dead stop in the road. What the hell is this line? What are people going into? Can you guess what it was? It's a chain we've reviewed. And it's not Raising Cane. And it's not Raising Cane. And it's not Chick-fil-A. In and out. It is not it was not in and out. I feel like there's always lines. There's always there, there's no that, that Oh, is it the Starbucks drive thru? It was not the Starbucks mm-hmm. drive thru. It's kind of an interesting, it's an interesting it's weirder an one. Interesting one. Yeah. Okay. So so I'm thinking mm-hmm. off the beaten path a little bit. I'm gonna say one of the last still standing wiener schnitzels. Nope. Hmm. Is it that sort is of category? Fun? Is this fun? I'm, I'm on the I'm, edge I'm, of my seat. Yeah, I'm having a blast. Is, is it that category? Is it like a, a fast food, fast food chain? Um, or is it more of like an upscale sort of, like it, closer to a Paquito Mas? It's a, it's a fast food, fast food chain, I would say. It's is, like, it a, is it a regional chain? Or uh, is it national? It's it's nas- international. It's Whoa. international. Okay. Oh. Um, um, I mean, I'm just going to get, I'll guess the big ones. Your like, Shinoya Beef Bowl? That's a great guess. That is a great guess. But it was not that. I'll, I'll I'll guess KFC. No, but you're in the right direction. Popeyes? No, Pizza no. Pizza Hut? Think you, even, even, no, but. Church's Chicken? Do you want me to get, want me to tell you? No, 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 keep, we'll, we'll figure this out. All right, all right. What are we, when you say like we're, we're in the right in direction. escape room. Do you, do you mean chicken wise? Fried chicken was a good thought. Ooh. Fried chicken was a good oh, thought. Oh, oh, is it that hot chicken sandwich place is everybody goes to? Dave's Hot no, Chicken? No, not Dave's, okay. no. Is it the other one? Right, because we'd have to have a drive through Think right? more internationally. Um, Panda Express, Bonchon? No, I think it's that other hot chicken place. The Korean, <laughs> is that a Korean hot chicken? Keep going. Oh, just tell us. <laughs> well, I guess Bonchon, but it's not Bonchon. I can't believe you haven't gotten this yet. Well, okay, it, 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 I'm sure when I hear it, I will be like, oh, of course. You'll be mad. Think of it right now. We've, we've done it twice, I believe. We've done it guess. twice. Oh, and I mentioned churches. Uh, I mentioned KFC, Bojangles. There's mm-hmm. not one out here. Popeyes, I mentioned. Um, what's what what, what 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 can I not see that's right in front of my face? Is you, it? I think I got a guess. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is it El Pollo Loco? No. Is that the right the, the right region? That's the right region, but Casey's gonna fucking knock oh, you off right now. <laughs> well, let's see, Jolly Bee. That's right. Wow, Jolly Bee. Casey's got it. Jolly Bee. You idiot. <laughs> Casey got it. Is it that one on Western? Uh, no, it was not on Western. It was uh, it was uh, because uh, it was going yeah. the other way. It was perpendicular. Okay. I reject you calling me an idiot. By the way, that's a bad hint. It's not just a fried chicken place. It also has spaghetti. spaghetti. It has burgers. It has a full fucking menu. I it's said, not a chicken concept. So how dare you say I'm fucking dumb? Casey did a good job guessing, but your hit was no hell. Because Casey's smart. I said right direction with fried chicken. Jollibee's known for fried chicken. One, what are you gonna one say? of the Is many it? things think they're known spaghetti. for. I'm not going to say They got a bunch spaghetti. going on. Well, we would have gotten it then. Yeah. You fool. Do y'all like Jollibee? I do like Jollibee. Have you had it? Casey no, made you look like a damn fool. My son ate it the other day. <laughs> Casey's making you look like a damn fool. Oh, why? Because he gets my fucking good clues? Because he's exposing your dumb fucking clue. I don't know. He seemed to get it pretty easy. He seemed to get it, yeah, by process of elimination. Think internationally. Da, Panda Express. That is, bitch, that's a good guess. Sure thing. The California chain. Yeah, it was Panda founded Express. in California, but it's an international cuisine. You've learned nothing these past 10 years. <laughs> Y'all should just do episodes where you try to guess each other's like restaurants you're thinking of. All right, let me. I'll, I'll do it right now. In and Out Burger. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> uh, Jackster, let's yeah. recap for us your plant based diet because that's part yeah. of what we're talking about today. Okay. So, like, like you're someone mm. who I know was was pretty vegan yeah. for a while. Yeah. Is, is is that still pretty much the case? Sorry. <laughs> a fucking Jesus. unloaded one. <laughs> I learned a silver bullet right in, 
right during the show. So I'm sorry. Loud. That's the loudest I've ever heard somebody open a drink in my life. I was I was like, should I go the slow route? And then I was thought he would be mad if yeah. it was like just like a yeah. for 10 seconds. So I was like, let's just fucking pull yeah. the trigger yeah. on this. Yeah, yeah. But then it shocked everyone. I'm sorry. It spilled white. <laughs> I did not spill white. <laughs> That's spilled what I thought odd. happened. I looked over. Okay. Yes. I'm so, spilling. <laughs> to, stop. <laughs> We're talking about me now? Yes. <laughs> 2010, New Year's Eve, mm-hmm. I had a chicken salad. That was the last time I consumed the flesh of an animal. Wow. I can't, I'm so mad at how it went out for you. Yeah. 2010 chicken salad on and New I Year's Eve? And I made Eve? it, and I made it, so it wasn't even like Jollibee or something. A New Year's Eve chicken salad? Yeah. Was it Was it like a, when you say chicken salad, was it a salad with chicken as a protein or yes. like a chicken salad? No, I I went, I was in Malibu, I was house sitting, I used to be a celebrity dog walker. I went to that Vons or whatever, that one grocery store off the yeah. PCH, and I got a bagged salad and a chicken breast and I believe I cooked it and then chopped it up and ate it in a salad. Wow. Wow. Oh, I so. think I was thinking chicken, like mayo chicken. That's why I asked, Oh, no, Mitch. no. Yeah, it was like it was a, a grilled good question. chicken Thank spring you. mix, which I hate spring mix now. Yeah, I'm kind of over You're still mad at mix. me over the game? Yeah, of course. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. This is going to be a damn mess. <laughs> <laughs> He's mad at me about the game, folks. You chose to take the taunting route. I know. Could've it was been... fun at the end. Casey no. got it. That was, I was fun. I was way, I was way, I was. Now you reap what you sow. Likes, I wanted you to get it so bad. I wanted you, you to get it. You should have said that it wasn't just chicken, though, because yeah, we were all on the chicken train. Right. I never said it was only just chicken. You Review said it was the on tapes. the right track with KFC. Review the tapes. Celebrity dog walker. So yeah. uh, I want to know some of these celebrity dogs. Yeah, Rin Tin Tin, Benji. <laughs> I actually did walk Air famous Bud. dogs. Wait, really? Yeah. I walked acting dogs. Whoa. Wow. Um, I walked, I guess it's okay to say this because I didn't sign anything. I used to walk Pete Wentz's bulldog Hemingway. Whoa. Wow. Famous. I would get stopped. People would be like, that's Hemingway Wentz, isn't Really? It? They just recognized well, the dog. he was on merch. He was in the wow. videos. I think he's on one of their album covers. He was very, wow. and he was a beautiful English bulldog that had a very like unique look. Yeah, because I would so, just be like, it's a bulldog. I don't think I yeah. could recognize a no, bulldog. No, people would always like That's follow wild. me. And then people would be wrong too. Like, because I had a bunch of dogs with me, they would assume I'm walking, you know, and they'd be like, That's George Clooney's mastiff or whatever. And I'd be like, No, it's not. Yeah. Freak. Did you ever walk Louie Dog? The sublime dog? Lou Dog? I he I think he had passed. Oh yeah, that's probably yeah, what I it think was. he had passed. Did you walk the dog from uh Cal Zone of Interest? I'm oh, sorry, uh, <laughs> Zone of Interest. I wish. <laughs> Snoop. <laughs> Snoop, Snoop. Oh, no, that's from uh, oh, wait, no, that's the, the other, other dog. movie with that that's lady. That's Anatomy of a Fall. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Did you see that? I did. I liked did it. Did you see I Zone of Interest? I did. I, yeah. liked, I liked Zone of Interest as Sandra well. Sandra Huller, the actor yes. in both movies. Yes, yes. Wonderful year for her. Yes. I like good movies, too. But you know what I think was the best Oscar movie? Poor it Things. Did y'all see that? I like Poor Things. things. Yeah, yeah. I think it was so much better than all the other ones. I don't. I Look, I liked all the Oscar movies. There was nothing where I was like, I was like, that doesn't belong here. Really? Yeah. Even Maestro? I loved Maestro. <laughs> Jackster, I'm a huge Maestro head. Maestro was my favorite movies of oh, last wow. year. I love the Maestro. You know what? Okay. Good take there. I liked all the movies. This <laughs> fucking, what the fuck? I'm talking about the nominees. It's not always the case. I know. I don't like every movie that comes out. I have N- movies I dislike. N- name the last movie you saw you disliked. Well, let me look through my list. Whoa, okay. Hold on. I gotta go open my, my Google Doc here. The type A king over so, here. So hold on. I'll say fucking <laughs> Tomorrow War. Did you so you had. <laughs> I watched Maestro. I couldn't even watch it. I turned it off. I did, Sorry, I did. Bradley. Oh, man, I didn't, I I didn't it. like it. Like, really? Yeah. I didn't we need to give it, it a like... second chance. Well, no, I don't. Th- I mean, it might just not be for you. I mean, I just liked how it's. It, I definitely get why it's polarizing. If someone's like, I did not like that movie. Natalie did not like, not care for it on the same level. That I, I just did. feel like it was Oscar bait. I could feel him how bad he wanted the Oscar. I I kind of disagree just because I feel they, like they made a good point about this. You yeah. and the, you and the blank dough guys. I, I I think it's such a weird like. There's a We're straightforward the blank check guys. Yeah, the, yeah. Well, we are the blank dough the guys. Bl- you, you're the blank dough guys. The, make a point. I, I I think this is that if you're going to try to 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 create Oscar bait, you make a different movie. Like this yeah. is such a weirdly audacious. And I know, you know there was like a scene where he movie he. Pl- sim- he 
orchestrates for a long, long time. Yeah, yeah. Because I heard him interviewed on Howard Stern about it, and so that's why I was excited to watch it. Maybe I should give it a second chance. I don't, you don't necessarily need to. Okay, movies. I, last I movie I didn't just, like. I thought it was okay. Okay, thank um, you. I didn't like Drive Away Dolls. I thought that was pretty bad. That was pretty hard to make it Who's through. Who's in that? Uh, oh, uh, it, Quali. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Margaret Quali's the lead, Quali. yeah. I like mm-hmm. her. Yes, yeah, I do like her, but I, I did not care for that movie. Um, let's see. Uh, How many have you seen this year? Total movie head. Yeah, I like, I like watching. Uh, what's, a film. Your, what's your number right now? Let's hear it because we're. This is what you've seen this year. As of this record, wow. I'm at my my counts at forty eight. This year? this year? Oh my yeah. God, that's how many movies like I've seen in like a decade. No, 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 not in a the theater. I want those stuff I'll watch at home too. Or I rewatches. I count it all as one list. Yeah. Let's see where my number is. I at. got nothing going on. What am I supposed to do? I come, I come here and I do a podcast yeah. and I go home and watch a yeah. fucking movie or I play Baldur's you. Gate. Who gives a shit? I still you. seem to fucking complain about it enough. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Maybe we had better Wait, quizzes on play? the fucking show. <laughs> what do you play? Baldur's Gate 3. Baldur's? Yeah, Baldur's Gate 3. What's that? A video game? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's don't, it's real good. don't even. Like RPG? It's like a role playing game. Yeah. yeah. It's really good. I'm like, Daggy, a, I play not... The Sims. Ooh, okay. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've been playing a long time. Which Sims do you play? I play Sims Free Play, which is the iPad version. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I didn't realize there was a mobile one. Yeah. Was yeah. this something that you you played? I'm, I'm trying to find my loop movie list from this year, but yeah. was that something that you played back in the day yeah. and it stuck with you? I, I started playing in 2001, Sims wow. OG, yeah. and then I played that a long time, like into college. I took a break for you know a decade or so, and then I got Sims Free Play on my iPad. Like yeah. over 10 years ago, I've been playing. Wow. Yeah. Emma's chiming in. You were a Sims head. Yeah. We, we bonded over this when we worked yeah. together. Our love for Sims. Doesn't it? Don't you have a rosebud tattoo yes. from the Sims? Yeah, yeah. I just got it. <laughs> wow. I just got it. Yeah, I this is the re- money code. For yeah. free money and Sims original. Yeah. Wow, I love that. I yeah. just re-downloaded Sims 4 like a month ago, and I thought about you the second I did it. I yeah. was like, Jackie would be so proud of me it's right a, now. It's a slippery slope. It I just is. saw they're making a Sims movie, and I need wow. to get... I know there's a lot of Hollywood types listening. Yes. I need to be in this movie. I don't care if I'm background. Somebody help me get Let's, in the Sims movie. We can make movie. this happen. Yeah. Yeah. Please. <laughs> totally. I do, are they going to talk Simslish in the movie? They I must. hope Simlish. I hope. Yeah. Because I'm fluent in Simlish already. Yeah. I could nail the audition. <laughs> you can't. You can't have a full movie where they te- where they speak Simlish, right? Oh, why not? I don't like, know. Like, isn't it like yeah. rah, 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 isn't oh, like that kind of stuff? Cluck, 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 cluck. Oh, yeah, that's see? that's that's good. Yeah. Fuck, that's good. <laughs> that's pretty good. He's good. <laughs> You know, Ready. Sh- you know this. Sh- <laughs> Paul, call me Margot. They'll tell you how they what they're actually saying with the little bubble over their head. So it's okay. That would be That's insane fun. for a full movie, but I kind of like it. I like that idea more. I, I mean, I think you do the Hunt for Red October. Or you yes. do the the uh, uh, Dead say. Reckoning. They do the same thing where they yeah. kind of like push in and then they push. Pl- uh, Avatar. They do the same thing in fucking Avatar. Yeah. Way of Water. You you're see hearing, Way of Water. You're, no. sim- you're hearing Simlish, and then it then it turns to English or no, whatever. We can read subtitles. We all just sat through a uh, Zone of Interest. Yeah. That's true. Why can't we? See Sit through Simlish for an hour. I, I, I that's true. Zone of interest can do it. Why not the Sims movie? Exactly. Very similar <laughs> themes. <laughs> Prisoners being controlled. <laughs> Call uh, me. I I've watched twenty four movies this year. Oh my god. Which Good. which is I need to make lists. We can't say what it is. You don't like me dating things, so I'm not going to say what day. Today. You can. I already said we're it's recording a about a month day. in advance. Okay, all right. Yeah, it's the end. It's uh, we're in the Ides of March, is that correct? Uh, we're a little after the Ides of March. I what the fuck is the Ides of March? I think it's just March, March 15th. 15th. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> There's Pi something. Day the 14th, then the Ides are the 15th. Two big days in a row. What the fuck are the Ides of March? Why are we going to be aware of them? What it's, the fuck uh, is going on? It's from Caesar. Yeah, Julius, Julius Caesar. Caesar, the Beware soothsayers. The Ides of like, March. That's when you're going to get fucking murked. Oh, that's when it gets murked. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Then Brutus is like, bam! It's like, A2 Brute. Brutus sounds go. a lot like fucking uh... Weiger <laughs> <laughs> with the Jolly Bee. <laughs> Brutus is like was like Emerald. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> you remember Emerald Lagasse? Yeah, yeah, oh, Emerald. Right, yeah. I'm a, I'm familiar. Emerald rocks. Uh, okay, I, I, so you mentioned, yeah. so you haven't had meat at all, animal protein, yeah. since 2010. Well, if you count fish, I have had fish. Okay, sure. Yeah. I told, what was that? What did you do? Sushi? I told y'all, yeah, I told that's y'all right, in 2021 right. yeah. that I had a few weak moments during my divorce where I was like having sushi with David Spade in Hawaii, and I was like eating tuna or whatever. I mean, come on. How, yeah. Who's going to turn down sushi with David Spade you in Hawaii? for the whole tab. Yeah, you got to do it. Nobu? Yeah. Honolulu? 
Are you kidding me? I'll take two, please. <laughs> and I sat next to Rob Schneider, and I didn't wow. know his politics at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a fascinating conversation. I would yeah. like to sit down and talk politics with Schneider. Because I was, I was like, I'm vegan, but I'm eating fish right now. Don't tell want. And he was like, you know, the groundwater's poison. It's actually smart you do that. Like, it was really interesting. Mm. We had a really interesting conversation. He's a, he's a very, he's, yeah. yeah. Him, I think we'll it get is. him in the studio. Yeah. We'll break it down. Okay, so- that and then last time I was on Doughboys, I said I was secretly pregnant, so I didn't eat like sushi or anything. I was right. Um, by the way, it's secret from us at the time, too. Yes. While we we're recording it, we did not. Yes, know. yes. Yeah. I was it, it's one of those things you're supposed to not tell anybody for a while or whatever. Well, and this fucking guy, he's gonna make some think a comment about it on this podcast. What the fuck do you mean? Like he's trying to fucking dox your gym. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd spill the beans. Are you think I would do you think I'd be like, remember Jackie came? She's pregnant, boo. <laughs> And Emma wouldn't at least stop it. <laughs> Emma so would catch it. Lie. Yeah. This isn't live. This, this, this is not. This oh, is not shit. live. <laughs> oh shit. We're also too dumb that we probably wouldn't pick up on you being pregnant ever. We're we're yeah. idiots. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. it was over Zoom too, so it's not like yeah. you couldn't see or anything. We'd right. see you holding a baby and be like, "Hi, baby." <laughs> we wouldn't get it. We're fools. Yeah. This guy couldn't even get Jolly Bee. Yeah. It's true. I couldn't either, though. So, yeah. um, okay. So he should. He's. He I was on, really. He works on the fast food. It was a. Yeah. I really wanted to try place. and be ve- like have a vegan mm-hmm. pregnancy. It was not easy. Yeah. Um, but I did it. And wow. then when I was breastfeeding, I wasn't super vegan. I I did eat some eggs and things a couple of times. I was just trying you, to get my supply up. Are you? Yeah, sure, that are makes you, sense. You're, like, is are you told to right? Like, isn't it like a lot of doctors recommend that you? Eat some like a uh, yeah like... probably I mean the whole time when you're pregnant they t- take your especially when you're like older they take your blood like every five minutes and I never told them I was vegan and I never had any they never said like oh you're low on iron blah 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 interesting so, um because you know I've been doing it so long I know how to not die yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. but so then I was on dumbbells semi recently that's right are y'all on a thread with them the dough bells we're we, not we, we don't have a dough be. bells. Yeah. We, we can make one. that happen, yeah. Start one. And I was telling them that- Well, I'll say this. Yeah. Last night, I was just like cleaning up the house, and I looked, and I was like, I only have 30 text messages. Not bad. Oh, wow. Uh, I look at my phone 10 minutes later, 175 text messages. Wow. From, so, and, uh, from I mean, go checks? I, I mean, there, there's, there's, it's always, it always revolves around- Not always us. I mean, our t- we 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 create a lot of text. Yeah, on of a course. Daily when basis. you said sending tra- text is what causes text to arrive. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm what just saying there's a lot. about just all like movies and yeah, food. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Honestly, it's mostly about food. <laughs> it's mostly about food I think movies. That's great. I love when men have friendships and. Eh. <laughs> 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 I don't know what I would categorize it as. Interesting. You're ultra coworkers, like like <laughs> extreme co-working. <laughs> That's where a lot of adults meet their friends. Is work. That's true. true. Yeah. 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 yeah, no shame in the game. No, yeah. Imagine working at a place with just like one other guy, yeah. and like that guy is, is Wags. There's other people here. I mean, yeah, I know. I like Casey's them. I'm here, with Emma's them. here. Oh, yeah, Emma's here. I, 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 I love fucking hunks out there. Go talk to the hunks. But I'm saying, like, you know, it's like when I started this job, it's like oh, I'm going into this new job, and it's like, oh, this guy is the guy. Hey, with buddy. Me. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't know you'd still be here ten years later. No huh? one knew this was going to go this. No long. one. No one yeah. knew that. No. No. I How mean, could we have known? And will it go ten more years after that? No. <laughs> We'll so we've at least gotten halfway. Mitch, honestly, we'll see at this point. Because I would have said, I would have agreed. I would have said, though, like five years ago, it's like, no way this thing goes another five years. Who fucking knows? Yeah. You can turn that You can turn that fountain off? You can turn that nozzle off? Mm, you're talking about like the, the, the nozzle. You're talking about my jacking off to my shower? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? We're going to be doing the show. I'm going to be in a CT machine just fucking getting scanned constantly, fucking doing the pot. It's going it, to, we can't, we talked about this this week. We did talk about the health. It, 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 it's getting bad. We can figure some stuff out. Yeah, don't you That's wear like a, a sleep problem. apnea mask, I heard? I would wear, I have to, I can't, I can't even do it because I wore it and I got, I got vertigo. Oh God. I have to go to a pulmonologist. Yeah. Ooh, I don't even know what that is. I have a lot of people confuse it with a paxinologist. I don't know what that is either. <laughs> Crowbarred in that fucking joke again. 
everyone's like, Mitch, Paxton and Pullman, we love oh, it. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Frailty. That's right. Yeah, Frailty. yeah. Frailty, yeah. great movie. Great movie. movie. He directed that great one. Great movie. Isn't that wild? He directed Frailty. What a twist. Yeah. We won't tell you the twist. Add it to your lists, everyone. Is that his o- the only film Paxton directed? Yeah, I think I think it was that weird time where like maybe it wasn't considered a, a big hit. You know what I mean? And no, but, I think it did okay. But I don't, did yeah. you okay? I mean, like it felt like he didn't really direct much after that. No, that's the thing. I'm always fascinated by someone who's like directed like one movie and they're like, all right, I'm good. Well, maybe you know? it was a bad experience. It could be. Yeah, I don't. I never heard of those huh? studio notes. That's oh, hey. Boy. Well, get you. We get head gum studio notes all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can you guys look better? <laughs> hey, you had the studio uh, in a two-hour block. Can you start on time? <laughs> that was too real. Yeah, that's, uh, that's fair. So where was I? Where were you? I was. I said mm. on dumbbells recently that that's um, right. I'm raising a child, and you have to teach the child literally everything. And mm. so I have to teach my son how to eat, and he's not vegan. I'm not raising him vegan. I'm outnumbered. Um, and I also just- Are you going to let him make that choice? Yes. That's nice. I'm going to let him decide when he's cognitive enough to do that, which will be a long time from now, probably. I just, it's, it's a hard knock alive for the vegans. It's not easy. Yeah. And I'm not- I would, I would have to assume that children's vegan food especially seems harder, right? Yeah. Yeah. I just, I'm going to let him decide. So he's eating yogurt, he's eating meat, he's eating it all of it. And he would like be eating and he would- go mommy here and he'd like try to make me eat the spoon and yeah. I would just go okay yogurt it was disgusting <laughs> oh man disgusting really? but hey. I ate it you know but then by the way if you need to call in some pinch pinch hitters good for to that. know <laughs> Greek yogurt is very healthy I mean you know it's got a lot of protein and did you like yogurt before I don't I just feel like listen I don't want to be the annoying vegan I've breastfed now. I have yeah. bared a child. I would never want to put another person through that sure. or an animal. Like, it's just a lot. Like, honestly, I think dairy is more evil than meat. Fascinating. Wow. Truly. That's really interesting. So, By no. the way, when you ask him about yogurt, um, yeah. we're on a yogurt text thread. That's not even- <laughs> We do have a- t- That's, we, uh, we that's not even chat. a joke. That is wow. real. We have a, a, a yogurt chat. Yeah, with like, Agata and Anastasia from Dunktown. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is it like you buy yogurts at the store and talk about them? Some of that, okay, because yeah. I like, like the Siggy's plant-based yogurt is legit, and it's okay. 10 grams of protein. So, so when you're revolted by yogurt, it's not. What it's is, more on a conceptual yes, level yes, as yes. opposed to the flavor. Yes, yes. With the blue dot next to it. Wow. What does it say? Side chain. No, 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 not that oh, one. Sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Dump. Oh, Gert chat. I'm sorry. There are three blue there, dots. Thank you. So Gert, please Gert, be more specific. Gert chat. Gert, Gert chat. chat. Get I love yo- Gert chat. Get the Siggy's plant base. I'm very curious what y'all think. I have the coconut mixed berry yes. coconut one in my fridge right now. Yes. I've been eating it for like a couple weeks. It's really good. Yes. I I like the flavor of like the full fat Greek yogurt, yeah. but I don't think about the ethical concerns of dairy as much, even though I eat a lot less meat than I used to. Yeah. And uh, but that's a, that's an interesting thought to have in my head because mm. yeah, disc, I don't think about it that way. Well, I'm not trying to ruin everyone's yum. No, no, no. I don't think um, I, 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 I just, just to why you should Google think about how it, milk is produced and then maybe you'll change your mind. But yes, uh, my son will be eating macaroni and cheese. Uh, he'll have me eat some. And I was like, oh, fuck, that's good. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> oh, fuck. Like it real can be cheese good. is good. Today's episode of Doughboys is brought to you by Helix. Wags, I've had a Helix mattress now for Six years, maybe seven years. Wow. It's been a while. It was pre-pandemic. I know that much. Man. I know. And you know what? My sleep has greatly improved. I love my Helix mattress. It's like a cloud. Wally and Irma sleep in there together. They love it. They don't want to leave the bed. Cute. I don't want to leave the bed. Probably bad for you. You know what? Anytime I'm late here, blame it on Helix. Wow. I'm sleeping away. The Helix lineup offers 20 unique mattresses, including the award-winning Lux Collection, the newly released Helix Elite Collection, a mattress designed for big and tall sleepers, and even a mattress made just for kids. So how will you know which Helix mattress works best for you and your body? Take the Helix Sleep Quiz and find your perfect mattress in under two minutes. And your personalized mattress is shipped straight to your door free of charge. 
Helix knows there's no better way to test out a new mattress than by sleeping on it in your own home. That's why they offer a 100-night trial and a 10- to 15-year warranty to try out your new Helix mattress. Everybody is unique, Wags, and everyone sleeps differently. That's why Helix has several different mattress models to choose from, each designed for specific sleep positions and feel preferences. Models with memory foam layers to provide optimal pressure relief if you sleep on your side. Models with a more responsive foam to cradle your body for essential support in stomach and back sleeping positions. Plus, enhanced cooling features to keep you from overheating at night, which is a problem for me. I heat up. Problem for me, too. And if your spine needs some extra TLC, they got you. Every Helix mattress has a hybrid design, combining individually wrapped steel coils in the base with premium foam layers on top. It's the perfect combination of comfort and support. Wags, I took the Helix sleep quiz and I was matched with a Moonlight Lux mattress because I wanted something that felt nice and soft, just like me. Wow. And not only is the mattress the best you've ever slept on, but the setup was fast and easy, as you were telling me. Helix mm -hmm. mattresses are delivered in a box and straight to your door for free. You know what? Ross Kimball helped me set it up. Good guy, Ross. Shout out to Ross. Plus, Helix mattresses all come with a 10 or 15 year warranty, depending on the model. And now Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash doughboys and use code HELIXPARTNER20. This is their best offer yet, and it won't last long. With Helix, better sleep starts now. Helix Partner 2-0. Do you remember the last time you had McDonald's? No, because here's the thing. McDonald's is anti-vegan. They have no options. You can't even get fries. No. The fries are in uh, beef fat or something? Well, they, they used to be cooked in beef towel. They actually now, you can, I think oh. they, and are they vegan? But they're still not classified as vegan, They, right? they have some they beef additive, I believe. fryer, I think, so That's they're the not issue. technically vegan. I'm, I'm, not, not, vegan. Fry I'm not super, like, religious yeah. about the fryer situations. Yeah. I'm pretty well, chill Well, then you might, be a good, you might be yeah. a good spot because I think that they changed from beef tallow right like they used to no they, that, that was years ago they changed from beef tallow to vegetable oil and that was a cost cutting measure but i believe they still have a beef additive in their fries for flavoring i could be wrong yeah. about that mm. I, that's, a, that's a thing i should i should investigate it's uh, been a long time but, since but I'm, I'm looking right now for sure but i will say the uh, uh, uh the mcdonald's had the mcplant which oh but not here no, they did have oh, a big plan okay. out here. They it had it in some test markets out here. Something. They had it in a few test markets, and we had it you on the what? podcast. We, liked it. we had it with Eric Edelstein. Eric, Eric Edelstein. Oh, yeah, that's my boy. Now, uh, uh, great dude. Uh, and so what happened is they had that, and they, they put then test markets, and it seemed like it was doing well. And then McDonald's was like, we just don't want to do that. Yeah. And they just doubled down on, very, on meat. They're on, very anti vegan. Yeah. yeah. And, and, it, and th we've seen this happen throughout the fast food industry where all of these, you know, the, the Impossible Whoppers were the last ones yep. holding on. Yep. But like Yum Brands had like Beyond versions of proteins they were doing. I wonder how the Impossible they Whoppers do it. I mean, we like I've had I like the Impossible yeah, Whopper. Yeah, I've had one. And the Carl's Jr. Beyond is okay. I've had yeah, that. Yeah, I'm not sure if Carl's Jr. still has it. I should investigate uh, that. Del Taco has Beyond Tacos. They discontinued Oh, that, okay. Which is a bummer. Yeah. But yeah, that they, we've kind of seen that industry-wide where a bunch of places were trying out yep. plant-based protein. Yep. And then they were ultimately like, well, it's not worth it. Consumers just want cheap meat. Right. Um, but but so that lands us with Mr. Charlie's, which is very much attempting to be a vegan McDonald's. Uh, the full name is Mr. Charlie's Told Me So. It is a plant-based oh, McDonald's what? clone. That's the name of it. M Mr. Charlie's Told Me So, but just called Mr. Charlie's Clone. Naughty. It does sound kind of naughty. Mm. It is a plant-based well. McDonald's clone founded by Charlie Kim, uh, who's the namesake, Taylor McKinnon, and Aaron Haxton. Uh, it started as a pop-up on La Brea Boulevard, where it still has a location in Los Angeles in 2022. It is mostly for app-based delivery. And I will say one thing in their credit is that they do make a point of hiring people who are unhoused or incarcerated. Uh, so they seem to have some good business ethics on that side of That's things. Good. Uh, so they, here's the thing. Everything is kind of marketed in a McDonald's uh, esque way. Like instead of happy meals, they have frowny meals. Instead of the big Mac, they have the big Chuck for Mr. Charlie's and all that sort of shit. Um, and they is call that, a lot of their stuff like the not a burger or the not fries. It's that sort of thing that's almost like uh, they come off almost annoying. It, that, I, that's I, the I, thing. I, it, yeah. it has some annoying aspects to it. It's just like this feels a little try hard. Do you remember the dumb Starbucks? Yes, yeah. The Nathan for you? It's giving that but not funny. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's the kind of thing where you're like, 
that that kind of tips me against it. But then you hear then then other things like the, the overall concept of trying to do a plant based McDonald's. Like I'm in favor of. I'm in favor of like try, you know try, having more people try out plant based proteins who maybe uh, might not have tried them uh, because of this concept. And it, it, you know, again, some of the stuff on the business side seems pretty positive. It's, so. it reminds, it's like egg slut in that way. Exactly, egg slut's another one. Jacob Wysocki, he uh, he texted me and said that that ship because he heard us. We talk. get it. You text. <laughs> God, <laughs> Mitch has brought up in this forty-four minute conversation that he texts with people and gets texts and his phone blows up so many times. Uh, my thumbs are pretty strong. I don't know if you know this. <laughs> Yeah, I text with Jacob Boysaki. Cool. He he was saying that the chef from Egg Slut is like a good chef and like a yeah a good guy. We talked about it on the podcast. I mean, that the, the branding is was smart for Egg Slut, uh, but a little obnoxious. I had it, it biases you against it, but the but the the person behind it seems like a, a like a good guy. He had a great idea that he wanted to do with us, and I think you vetoed it. But it was very fun. Where me, you, Gabris, and one other person. Uh-huh. You go to like a fast food, you go to, I said, five drive throughs and you order what the person in front of you had and you have to go to like five different drive throughs and order what the, like the person in front of you ordered. Yeah. And eat, and eat everything that they ate as a group. Which, Why five? I don't know. There was some sort of challenge. Just, just mentally rewind about 25 minutes in the past mm-hmm. when you were talking about getting a CT scan and we're talking about what this podcast does. That's around. Why fun, do you want to do stunt eating? We don't, because, we shouldn't be doing the stunt eating I mean, anymore. We shouldn't do stunt eating anymore. Sure. We shouldn't do stunt eating anymore. But you'd go viral. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. We all need virality. We got 10 years or less left on this podcast. We got to go viral with a clip or two. We're doing my fine. whole Instagram is clips of YouTube motherfuckers. That's all I see is on my Instagram. Is it really? Yes, it's just real. That sucks. I'm sorry. Yeah, that Doe sucks. Boys reels. I love, to hear that. <laughs> I love that. The algorithm is algorithming, That's and great. this is probably going to be a clip right now. So <laughs> hi myself, <laughs> future me scrolling away. This is fucking Inception yes. bullshit. I mean, it, it's it is. And then you'll look at those clips and it's got like a, you know, like five a thousand. views. Yeah. <laughs> hey, podcasts are visual now. Keep up, sweetie. <laughs> Unfortunately, true. We all got into this business to not have to look good. Exactly. <laughs> we all got into this business to not do radio. Yeah. And here we are doing radio. We got fake fucking fiddle leaf plants behind us. <laughs> this is fake. This is fucking bullshit. Look at this fake ass cactus. Oh, wow. Bikes, 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 bikes. Folks, that cactus is not fake. Blood streaming down. Ow. <laughs> the no, bit was worth it. Okay, but low key, that's going viral. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Can't believe you grabbed that cactus, dude. I had to for the virality. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was funnier than your little mukbang stunt. <laughs> I think that if you, if our, if we did, well, you should test it. Yeah. If on our Instagram, you just have me being like. Oh, no, it would go. People, would, would, love people would, love would love that People would love that yeah. shit. It's a fetish. It's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fucking whale would be pounding off watching that in his laptop. Yeah. <laughs> Will's going to glaze his fucking bathtub. Phil Phil White. Phil White. <laughs> Okay, so they they and the frowny meals come in like a frowny in, in a happy meal esque package. Yes. So it's it's very curated no toy, to be a though. McDonald's experience. No, no toy. toy. Um, and no crown. No crown, as Amelia mm-hmm. pointed out, mm-hmm. uh, confusing the chain with a uh, with Burger King. Um, that's okay. Uh, I we uh, so I'll, I'll go through everything that I got last night, and then we got some more stuff today. But I got the Mister Muffin Deluxe Special, which is a plant based breakfast sausage, a plant based egg, and vegan cheese on a muffin. When's the last? Do you remember the last time you've had a breakfast sandwich in general? Oh, not probably pretty freak like often. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I live in Highland Park. There's got it. We got breakfast sandwiches for days. And and is that the sort of thing where like you're okay with the occasional egg in that context or? Uh, I try not to. Try not to. Yeah, yeah. The first thing I ate after I gave birth was the Starbucks Impossible breakfast sandwich. How was it? Wow. Horrible. 
because I had my throat got burned out from vomiting. Oh my god! Be careful out there. Wear condoms. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it was rough. We don't need to talk about that. Dear oh, God! Oh, it's horrible. What a nightmare! Hug your mothers. <laughs> Hug your mothers, <laughs> Jesus. everybody. You throw up? Oh well, I was having horrific Fuck acid me. reflux. Like Jesus. the devil was in me, <laughs> and so you're trying to like push, but then in between your pushes, you're just throwing bile up. And wow. then I thought I was fine, but then like I couldn't eat for a week. It would just burn. And then I thought I permanently damaged Jesus. my esophagus. But it went back. God. When you said the devil is inside you, this wasn't sort of, sort of literal thing you're saying here, correct? I, no, I gave I gave birth to the Antichrist. <laughs> <laughs> we're also, again, so dumb that we're like, you throw up when you're pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> Idiots. No, I don't get, get that caught. But I mean, like it, it felt like a thing when you were giving birth. It was it was what you were referring to. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. No, you, left and right. You throw up from pain. Wow. As well. Jeez. Yeah. That's gnarly. It's really, really rough. Yeah. Um, anyway. Uh, well, I had a Mr. Buffin Deluxe <laughs> Special. It also came with potato tots. And it came in that little package, which oh, is potato fun. potato tots. I didn't yeah. know they had tater tots. They do have tater tots. They're, fu- they're whatever. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the tater tots are whatever. The fries are whatever. I know these places feel like they have to do that. But if you're a delivery- You're not going you're not to get that McDonald's hash brown. They're, no, it's, it's not going to happen. No, well, first off, they didn't even attempt the McDonald's hash brown, which is interesting. It's interesting the things they omitted here. Yes, because, because the whole point was we're trying to create a vibe here, a McDonald's vibe. Right, but they're like, no hash browns. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, no Happy Meal toys. No Happy Meal toys. No desserts. Not, no desserts. treats? No treats at all. No treats. Not, not like an apple pie, not like a fake sundae or a fake cone. Someone pointed out no soda fountain, which I think- Me. Was that that was no, me? No soda fountain, yeah. Yeah. And you made a great point because it's like, that feels like such a McDonald's thing yes. instead of like For sure. What is it, the Sprite? Sodas. The McDonald's Sprite, people say, has like its own taste or something? It's the, I mean, it's the I think their Sprite is good, but their Coke is the, the signature there, yeah. Because can't you get any size for a dollar? It depends on the promotion, but oftentimes they do have that, yeah. It is funny because I think younger people talk about McDonald's Sprite hitting differently, as they say. Yeah. Spicy Sprite. Uh, what's that? I call it Spicy Sprite. There it is. Spicy <laughs> Sprite. Spicy, yeah. I didn't feel right when I said hitting differently. I, mm. I It just didn't feel That's right. That's not it. It's hits different. Hits different, yes. Hitting differently is <laughs> not the same thing. The McDonald's Sprite hits, is hitting differently. Uh, <laughs> the McDonald's Coke, we've always said, yeah. is just... The, it's maybe the, different. It's it's, different. it's the best version of Coke there is, and wow. and there is scientific proof behind it now. Yes, yeah, scientific you want to call proof. It scientific it. proof. <laughs> what is it? No, it comes in like a metal canister. It comes in a metal canister. Our, our, we we've had some some listeners, including our, our friend uh, Emilio, who who cool. worked uh, cold, in various right? capacities for McDonald's, and yes, they have like a, they have specific uh, metal canisters that are, are, are delivery systems for the. the so Coke. it makes sense that it is yeah. like the best. Yeah, fountain like a keg. Like a uh, coke ba- ba- basically, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, think, I think it's a keg. Yeah, that. a coke, a keg syrup. Yeah, syrupy keg. I would, I would do a keg stand on that bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like uh, to the, see that. The not they have, they have a not a hamburger, which is their plant based patty, pickles, onions, ketchup, and mustard, which is their attempted at hamburger. The double knot, which is like the McDonald's double cheeseburger. The not a chicken sandwich, which is their plant based chicken patty, lettuce, and mayo. Uh, again, vegan mayo. There's the not, they're not chicken nuggets, which we'll talk about. Uh, and um, and then they forgot my big chuck, but I which is their big mac clone. But I got the big chuck today. I hope you got refunded. I actually didn't ask for a refund. I guess I should probably go go ahead and do that. But I was just sort of like, ah, fuck it, whatever. That's um, how they get you. All right, it's fine. Just yeah. give me uh, how much was it? Just give me half of that. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bullshit. This guy, remember remember the thing I got mad at a long time ago? You didn't get uh, the thing and I got mad at you about it? Yeah, let's rehash that. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> that thing a long time ago when I didn't get the thing and he got mad at it. We all remember. Oh, when you went and the, the store was closed. Remember? Yeah, the IHOP was closed. The IHOP the was closed. They should not have, the, it was the Denny's. Thank <laughs> the you, Denny's. Emma. The Denny's should not have let me put in an order if it was permanent, location was permanent. This guy closed. never says a fucking word about it. Did you ever get that money back? We don't need to bring this up again. <laughs> Mitch Remember, was, the answer is no. no. I want to know. I'm Mitch was at. Now. Mitch was at. I was mad about the thing. We didn't need to let him pursue that any further. <laughs> Uh, I got swindled earlier. This guy, he uh, he asked me for the Doughboy's bank account. I gave it to him. I got swindled. Oh, what the fuck? You going to do anything about it, you fool? I don't suggest this is equivalent. I guess it's not equivalent. I guess it's a sandwich that they forgot. Yeah, they forgot quote. a sandwich. You know I didn't want to make a big fuss about it. I'm sure I could get a refund if I went through the, the proper Who channels. gives a but, shit? You know, I fucking you. will, Mitch. I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about your meals. I'll go through the app and I'll try to get a refund right now. <laughs> Wow, got a fanny pack ready to I was go? just trying to yell at you because it was fun to yell at you. No, I think you should. 
these companies. He's texting the yogurt chat. <laughs> <They're>... <laughs> Not texting the yogurt chat. They have. I just don't understand how these delivery services always fuck your order up. I swear. Over half the time, there's yeah. not. I ordered extra ranch. Where is it, bitch? That is. I paid two dollars. Where but is it? But then it always comes in a bag that's taped shut. So I'm right, like, the driver can't look in here yes, to make it sure was... it's there. So it's the restaurant. That's yes, fucking it Someone's up. Someone's right? asleep at the switch, and I don't appreciate it. Do you know what I did last night? I had dinner at Chi Dynasty. Do you know? What uh -huh. Oh, I used to eat there all the time. And I was like, so nice to just go and sit. And this, I, I give him credit. Why? Because I'm actually shocked that you got delivery. Because you're a guy who doesn't do delivery ever. Yeah. Well, but you know what? Yeah, I appreciate about you well here was the thing like i i I've been by that location you like that a little bit more <laughs> no well i mean i don't know whatever i mean I, I i think like it's it's good that you both still have your hair don't you think aren't you really blessed that your hair is still there Mine yeah, is, i mean i mean this is i got a lot of want to tell you something yeah i'm going in for another treatment tomorrow they take my blood yeah they spin it down and you're doing a prp <laughs> And that, yeah, I guess that's what, and then wow. they, they stab my head with it. Yeah. Look at this beauty queen over here. I, you know what? I'm like not even ashamed or no, embarrassed by it. No, you shouldn't be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I think a lot of people wouldn't want to talk about it, but I don't no. care, really. That's I got wonderful. The, I got if someone shames you for that, you shame them right back. Hell yeah. <laughs> Balding on top. I'm not sure oh. how visible this is because it's no. been getting From better. From here, it looks like your hair looks luscious. Yeah. It looks like you're about to open up your head. He's like, if you want to, you want This is where the charger goes. <laughs> it's a little men in black alien inside. <laughs> hey, buddy. My galaxy. Oh. <laughs> oh. How do I report this? Because I just see the receipt here. Don't do here. it. Don't do no. it. I was just giving you a hard time. Go to your okay. order. I right. know because Ugh. they screw my order up all the time. Okay, Go to your I got my order, order open. And then you, there's like a dispute or like a problem with order. Help button. with an order. There Past order. Now we're coming. Might be too yeah. late, I'll just give you the money back without any time. They're just like, yep, whoops, here you go. Well, it also just shows how much. I mean, wrong or missing this is items. This is actually a crazy thing to talk about is that Amelia picked up the order today. Yeah. Yes. And this is this just shows you how these apps are horrible. And I use them all the time and they are horrible. But the difference between her picking up the order and us getting it delivered was fifty dollars, Wags. And you know the driver ain't getting those fees. And the the driver is not getting no. the fifty dollars. No, fifty fucking dollars, which is so crazy. Um, but don't do this. I was just giving you a hard the time. Reason, I don't care about here's the Here's my argument. I feel like the more people who dispute, the the restaurant will start to notice and maybe they'll... Or Postmates will start to fucking... Yes. Yeah. That's why I want to do it. I'm normally not a snitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? But no, I don't, I don't want to get someone in trouble is the thing. Don't, don't, don't do it. Either, it's but it's the not the driver's fault. Yeah, it's not it's, the driver's fault. The restaurant clearly well, that's is... Why I, someone's not... Well, the, I think attention. that these so many of these companies are predatory in that way of like they want they just are like oh well, we'll get lost and we'll make profits and who cares right and I think that that's like what they plan on doing. We have received your message. Oh we'll be in touch God. as soon as possible. I didn't want you to do it. Can you I was open giving a you a chat hard time. and be like, "Do you know who I am?" <laughs> <laughs> Hamburger emoji. <laughs> yeah, I met you in a gym once. <laughs> <laughs> I also did text the the Gert chat. Um, <laughs> Y'all should go to Menchie's. We should Gert go to chat. Menchie's. That'd the be Gert a fun outing, Mitch. He did. He just texted, "What up, chat?" So wait, what those you... two were probably like, "What the fuck is going on?" <laughs> what were you saying about Chai Dynasty? I was just saying it was so nice to oh. go and sit down in yeah. the restaurant isn't and eat it wonder, there. Isn't it was it, lovely it was experience? great. What'd yeah. you get? I got the uh, sesame chicken, which That's is an old, which is an old favorite. That's what I used to get. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's it was, so good. It, it was. So it was. Good. It's. It is. It is good. And also, I was just like, you know, gotta clean up. This is great. Yeah. Walk out of here, feel great. It was great. Going yes. to restaurants is fun. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it's uh, it, it, but but I'm curious. So wait, dude. While we're while we're on this topic, because if we're talking about like you know, a, a Chi Dynasty is a Chinese food. Mm -hmm. We're mm -hmm. talking about Chinese food, Thai food. Um, uh, you know, these are cuisines where I feel like you can get like tofu and you can yes. get a vegan version of something, yes. and you can get a very close to yes. what you had with a with a you know with meat. Yes, I don't think Chi Dynasty does tofu though. At least they did it back in the day when I would Ooh, go. I don't know. I'm That's not sure. Question. They're yeah. they're not a tofu -y place. Mm. But I used to eat there in like 2009, 2008 when I yeah. still ate meat, and I would get that dish. Chinese food great. I mean, I got some. Uh, I got the other thing I got. That was vegetable mushu. So oh, was, there you go. Mm -hmm. Those little mushrooms. Very, oh, yeah. It was oh, good. Yeah. Wow. It was good. I used to live in that neighborhood. <laughs> I never left. I'm still over there. Uh, I'll probably die there. <laughs> Uh, we got we got to talk about the food. Yes. So the, the Mitch, you tell us talk talk us through your order. You got one of the combo meals. I got the 
what is it? The Big Carl? Big Chuck. Big Chuck. Big Carl is Carl's Jr. Uh, well, I knew that too. I guess you're right. I shouldn't have guessed that it was a Big Carl. No, I get Mr. Charlie's. It's Charlie kind of like Carl, but it is the Big Chuck, like the Big Mac. My initial thought when I bit into the – Suss and I were like, this place stinks. And look, I'll say it. Yeah, did we mention Susser just showed up? Susser did just show up, and I think that he was – he ex- didn't order food. I think he's expecting there to be more food, and then it was kind of like you needed to kind of put your order in a little bit, and yeah. he didn't do that. Right. And so we kind of just sitting there kind of sad. And he then, said he was just at Sweet Green, and he was like, oh, I forgot you guys were here today, so I saw, thought I'd stop by. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Then he accidentally at Sweet Green, yeah. <laughs> and he accidentally knocked a poster off the wall. Yeah, he did. I was gonna say he was. Uh, he he also knocked a poster <laughs> off the wall and then left. <laughs> yeah. Um, but he uh, and also did eat a couple nuggets, I believe. Yeah, yeah. I think he got what he wanted. So did Jemmy. Yeah, Jemmy got some nuggies. Good girl. She loved them. I my thought was like I. Love McDonald's, yeah. of course. We think it's Naturally. one of the, the best re- – and Jemmy loves McDonald's as she well. She loves Nuggies. Um, and I didn't want to like this place. They're, they had a beef with Dang, It's Wayne, and Luke Foods, the two – I just spit everywhere. The two guys – I sorry. Uh, the two guys that I, uh, that I follow on Instagram mm. who, look, might be annoying. I don't know what the deal is with them. The yeah. Luke Foods guy talks like that. I talked about him before. Uh, and, and they both reviewed Mr. Charles and they didn't like it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was like, maybe this place sucks. Cause they were kind of mean to them in the comments. And Mr. Charlie's was mean to him. Yeah. I was like, maybe this place kind of sucks. You then texted last night and said, I got news for you. Mr. Charlie's is good. Yeah. Whoa. And I said, interesting. You've been having a poker face all day. I did not know how you felt. And then I come in. Oh, I live. I take a bite. Yeah. You can't tell what the fuck he's thinking. <laughs> How have you been dealing with this for 10 years? It's not easy. Um, I come in. I open up the big chuck. Yeah. I take a bite of it. It's really, really close to a Big Mac. It it's tastes, really an impressive it's Big Mac. It's pretty Mac-well. impressive. Food science-y. I, my, uh, that was the most impressive thing. Thing I had was yeah. the big chuck, and yes. I, I was, and, I, and to be to be clear, I got another big chuck. I added that onto our order today because I didn't get it last night, and I tried. I was quite impressed by it. It was it was impressive. It, it the, the the they they really nailed the just the sauce works really well on there. The cheese is, I hate to say this because it's disgusting. Yeah, almost when you touch it, it's almost boogery. Mm. Okay. Gross like to gelatinous. say. Gelatinous. Yeah. I guess there were less Isn't gross words McDonald's to say. is the McDonald's cheese kind of like that, though? It is a little bit. It's very plasticky. Uh, pla- yeah. Plastic, but this is like so like sticky. And it's McDonald's, a different it's, it's a different, it's, a, it's, it's, it's different. Yeah. Eating it, I, I think I think when it was singled out was the taste that I liked the least when it was singled out. But in as a whole, in the, in the Big Chuck, it tasted good. And the Big Mac sauce that they have, well, their version of the Big Mac sauce that they have, is good. Yeah. I I sauce. was I was surprised by it where like I think that if I think you could fool some people into thinking that was a Big Mac. Wow. On that note, Natalie loved the double cheeseburger, the double knot. She mm-hmm. was like this this item is a five fork item. This is like a double cheeseburger, like just a just a, wow. a pretty perfect double cheeseburger clone. I could just have this instead of a McDonald's cheeseburger. The rest of the menu she was a little less impressed by and was more in the, you know, the two fork range. Uh but I will say that the big chuck was one of the better things I had. I also really like their fake hamburger without mm-hmm. Mitch the cheese because the issue with the cheese yeah. is that it's ooey gooey, and you know what's fun if with with regular cheese, you got some on the wrapper, you have a little extra, you peel that mm-hmm, off, you have mm-hmm. a little extra bite of cheese. Not the same sensation here. You actually don't want that because tasting it on its own, it more exposes the yes. lie of it. The, 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 and so, it on its own is the thing I liked the least. For, yeah, for sure. I, I I had I had a single cheeseburger as well, and I and I ate most of that. And the first bite I took, I was like, mm, they got it right with the Big Mac, but this one isn't right. And then I took a couple more bites, and I was like, wait. This is this does taste like a cheeseburger from yes. McDonald's, and then I would get like a pocket of the cheese that was gooed up, and I'd be like, "Oh no, this is." It was like a very up and down thing, but I that, was, that's why that's what I was just impressed to... by this place in many ways. Yeah. It's crazy, totally. And just to finish my thought, that's why maybe if you have an issue with the vegan cheeses, mm. and I usually like a vegan cheese, but some people don't love it. 
I'd, I'd push it towards the hamburger because I think that that one tastes just tastes like a McDonald's hamburger. It's a little bit of a dry guy, but you dip that in some chuck sauce or some ketchup. It's not, you know, you're, just, you're sitting sure. Dirty. I thought I thought that was a pretty impressive concoction. Like the like the the breakfast sandwich tasted like a chicken sausage, but for the most part tasted like an actual breakfast sandwich. Not a chicken sandwich was pretty good. I actually thought that was more successful than the nuggets, just because the nuggets eating them on their own, you know, you you kind of have a little bit less to hide them. The nuggets aren't bad. They though. were still good. And when I dipped the nuggets, and I, you know what, I asked because you were like, you don't have to get the sweet and sour and barbecue sauce. And I said to Amelia, just get it anyways. I want to try it. And when I did dip it in the sweet, and I was happy she did because when I dipped it in the sweet and sour sauce, I was like, oh, this like is giving some sort of equivalent to what a chicken nugget is. I just think it's a tougher thing when it's the protein on its own. Yeah, you can't like right. hide it with some of the condiments and stuff like that, and dink, dinking it, dumping it in the. Uh, yeah. Dinking, dinking. It. dinking the nugs. Dumping you when were looking for. That's the word you wanted. <laughs> dinking the nug. Yeah. Dinking the nubs. Wow. <laughs> oh, God. That cold shower did not turn on his brain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to dink my nub. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I spilled white. <laughs> dinking the nugs. Yeah. Uh, when you dunk them in that sweet and sour, that it helps. It makes it, but like, on its own, you know what uh, – it's close. They it's get like, pretty close. They get the crisp right, but it is just – you can tell. You can t- I mean, you can tell the difference, obviously. Let, let, let me just say but that – the Big Mac is like a thing where I was like, I don't I don't know. I can't – this is so close that I think you would you – would, you'd fool people. That was a magic trick. I, I was very impressed with it by the Big yeah. Chuck. Uh, the, the reason the barbecue sauce and the sweet and sour, I was like, we don't necessarily need to get them is because I got them last night, and they're, it's just sweet baby raised barbecue sauce and Heinz sweet and sour. They're just prepackaged yeah. sauces. But that said, if you want the experience of having those, you know, that. Uh, but they do have a bunch of different house sauces as well. Their green sauce, their white sauce, chipotle aioli, their big chuck sauce, which I mentioned, and their jew dip, which is a combo of the barbecue and chipotle. But let's talk about the white sauce a little bit because, Jackie, yeah. you were a defender of the white sauce. Yes. Okay. I'm going to pull up what I ordered. Please do. By the way, we need to trim your eyebrows, Mitch. I I, I, w- I would love that. If I had some, I should have brought my kit because I like the shape, yeah. but they're getting a little, the hairs are starting to go down into your eyes. You know what? I, mm, I've had some vision problems That's, and, might I, be and I think a part of it has been that I'm seeing yeah. hairs. Can it happen with eyelashes too? I have, yeah. I have, I have tiny eyes. Well, you have inset, it's called inset eyes. Oh boy. And I it's feel like called I'm being... hood, hooded eyes. I, I've heard this before. Yeah, that I have heard from it other eyes. women. My my mom has told me that I'm going to have to get an operation at some point to if I like she's oh, like like an eye lift or something. She said that I'll probably have to get an eye lift. Yeah. Wow. Really? She says that. Yeah. She says that I have uh, that I would. Well, I have fucked want, up eyes. We want to make sure you can see. That's exactly like she's like issue at the end of the when, day. As you get older, it's going to be harder for me to oh, see. Oh, sure. Yeah. 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 Uh, I would love for you to trim my eyebrows. Yeah. I just. I like a full brow. Yeah, but they're getting a little look. I need. Unruly. I need a little bit of a. I need a bit of a cleanup, anyways. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm due for a cleanup. Doesn't help that my hot water's not working right now. But yeah. I, do you do any brow maintenance? I do a, a very small amount. My my barber will sometimes just clip them a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to brush him up, and then do a cut, 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 cut. Just get those. How does, how does this look? Yeah. Like there be, we go. I feel like that'd be very satisfying Whoa. to watch. Oh, somebody's angry. <laughs> that works. I am angry. You know, wow. like Maggie Simpson's arch nemesis. Yeah, yes, that's, yeah. That's, that's, that's what you're giving. <laughs> yeah, the baby with the with the unibrow. Yeah, the big one yeah, big yeah. eyebrow. Yeah, they're really curly too. Yeah, they're like cur- You have like curly hair in your eyebrows. I, I, I was a curly haired boy. Wow. I was when I was a little kid. I had little. Wow. I had little cur- lot blonde curls. Wags. Wow. My my son has curly blonde hair. Aww. Is he gonna end up l- with curly eyebrows? <laughs> Is he gonna end up like me? <laughs> I pray no. <laughs> Don't anger the baby gods, but I think that he should be he should be better looking. Um, Who knows? But the, the, they do you you do lose your a lot of people lose their blonde yes. hair. I was a little I, I was a little toe headed boy. I was yeah. a toe headed no. boy as well. Wise. Yeah. Our innocence is stripped from us. Yeah. Anyway, back to vegan hamburgers. That's right. <laughs> I ordered a frowny meal with a not a cheeseburger mm. and a side of the white sauce. Mm. Now, when I go on Sirius XM and I do Howard Stern, that studio is right next to, yes, I just dropped that, is right next to McTruck. <laughs> so I go I go there every time I'm at Sirius. Right. Which is, you know, often. Yeah. So 
Uh, by the way, you can hear me on Howard Stern 101 sometimes. Anyway. Wow. So I go there. I make it a point to go there. Yeah. Because it's a treat for me. Mm-hmm. So my hamburger, I got the cheeseburger, the single patty cheeseburger. It's been a while since I had a McDonald's hamburger, but I grew up in the 90s in Texas. I eat McDonald's every week of my life. Wow. And that taste mm-hmm. will never die. I know right. exactly. Like, it takes me right there. So I bit into that cheeseburger. And for me, a person who hasn't had real McDonald's in a long time, it is uh, it is a McDonald's hamburger. Like, yeah. It tastes exactly mm-hmm. like it to me. Mm-hmm. And it's not necessarily like the patty. It's the condiment choices. So they chop the onions just like they do on a McDonald's. They have a uh, mustard and the ketchup and the cheese. It's just the exact combination of all those things in your mouth. It is to me exactly yeah. like a McDonald's single cheeseburger. I think for, for I mean, if you're vegan or yeah. vegetarian and you're not eating McDonald's, I think this is like. Yes. And you wanted that experience. It just gives you that. Yeah. It, yes. it gives it to you. I, I wonder how you would feel about this. The thing that it didn't feel as close to to me is the fries. And I think it is just impossible. Yeah. Please stop like. Coming into my what I'm saying right now because this is actually my time. <laughs> the fries. I think the fries. Oh, go, go, go on. I'm speaking. <laughs> I'm speaking. Does that work? I guess <laughs> he's, he's out. Wow. He's out. Wow. As I was saying, mutely nodding. The next thing I chose to eat uh-huh. were the chicken nuggets. Once again, to me, they taste just like the McDonald's chicken nuggets. The texture was very similar. Mm. Um, the, the outside, um, what's it called? The, you can talk now. What's the called? Like uh, the, the outside? The, 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 the breading? The, the, the breading. Yeah. My brain doesn't work either. Have a kid. It breaks your real life. That is very similar. Mm-hmm. Now the white sauce. So there's three sauces. I want to talk now. You want to talk about the white sauce? I <laughs> think you liking the white sauce is yeah. possibly insane. Really? I, 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 I I'm baffled by the white sauce. Uh, Natalie and I both I'm, thought it tasted like cream cheese icing. We're like, this is so pungently sweet it that it's sweet. unpleasant. Yeah. I don't know what's in it. Yeah. I, and we couldn't find any info on the website. But I love it. it. Did you love it? Yeah. I when I so the first time I heard about McCharlie's was Lizzo. Yes. Lizzo made a video on TikTok eating it. Yeah. And she tried the sauces and she said the white sauce is the way to go. So the first time I went, I ordered the white sauce. Mm. And I, I think I got a green as well. And I tried it and I just, when I was little, I would always get the Happy Meal chicken nuggets with honey. Mm-hmm. Dipping those chicken nuggets in that honey, mommy, oh. that was my shit. Is wow. that what it's supposed to evoke? So is it I'm not to be a sure, fake honey? but all I know is that when you dip them nugs in the white, Ooh wee, ooh wee! <laughs> it do it for mommy. Wow! So maybe it's that. Mommy like a little sweet, sweet on her nugs. I, I, I you know what? I get that. Yeah. I, and I, I was a, I was a, I was a honey on nugget person yeah, yeah. too. Uh, Lizzo is the singer, right? Yes. Because I have a friend named Dano, and I didn't know if you maybe had a friend named Lizzo. Uh, that I, I I'm did. just casually dropping my friend Lizzo. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, weirder <laughs> things have happened. I She's gotta, from Texas, like me. I got a Kualik. question. I got uh, in Kualik. Yeah, 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 that's right, Kualik. Yeah, our yeah. former uh, Beyonce's our, date. Our former commissioner in Beyonce's yeah. date. Uh, <laughs> f- commissioner for a very short time. Uh, Not well, a I, great tenure. Kind of a w- William Henry Harrison of the uh, Doughboys commissionership. Yeah, it was horrible. Yeah. Uh, Wags, I got a question for you. When'd you lose it? When'd you lose the blonde hair? When'd I think I, I think probably sixth to seventh grade. How does it happen? Does it slowly fall out and dark hair comes into its place, or is it sort of like um, <laughs> Rogue from X Men? You just wake up one day with like the streak. It starts to it start uh, for me. Same thing. Why like sixth or seventh I grade? I want to see yeah. photos of y'all as toeheads. I'll find one right now. Okay. I don't have any old photos on my phone, but um, Jesus Christ! I uh, why? Wh- I don't know. I just don't hold on to stuff. Look at my little blonde child. Adorable. Wait, let me get a look at that. What a cutie. Blonde. True cutie. Oh my goodness. Blonde as hell. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. I'm going to find a picture of myself. You don't get to see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a mommy blogger. <laughs> no, thank you. I've been Permission. Try- I've been trying to look up what the white sauce is, and yeah. I just, they don't have the, it's just called mystery white sauce, and they don't wow. have the nutrition info on the website, so. This is an argument my husband always makes for vegan food. We'll go out to eat. We'll get like vegan sandwiches. And he'll go, what is this? And I'll go, I don't know. And he's like, don't you feel weird that you don't know what you're eating? Right. And I'm always like, 
I guess not, but I don't have allergies. But obviously, a lot of people have like gluten or um, soy and different things. Yeah, sure. Um, but I don't. But that is like a thing about vegans is it, we're like, we don't care what it is. As long as it ain't meat, I'll eat the cardboard, whatever. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> How cute I would he is. never in my life think that was you. That's me. Keep it out of guy. <laughs> Keep it out of your spank I bank. All right, Jesus float. Christ. <laughs> now I just fall. <laughs> what was I made for? That's it. I should do a TikTok of that. What was With then I me at the end, just sad as myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what you need to do. There's a TikTok trend with I'm Just a Kid, that song from Simple Plan. Oh, yeah. And yeah. you come into frame, and then you click to the current photo. <laughs> <laughs> Do that. you be like, what the fuck? <laughs> All right, you got me going through my phone again. Let me see if I, if I have anything. I don't think I do. This is riveting you, radio. You don't got one, Mike. Come on. Uh, wait, no, I, uh, this is, but this is on the, the edge of me turning from blonde to brown. So you're actually getting to kind of get, get a, kind of like a Santa Claus Tim Allen midpoint Ooh. sort of transition. Um, this is me with my bass clarinet and turtleneck sweater in sixth grade. So there you go. Oh, so you you're of... adorable. Yeah, that's a little heartbreaker. Oh. You must love that edging, edging from blonde to brown. Were you, were you first chair? <laughs> yeah, I was first chair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kidding me? I hope it was a fucking wow. strong chair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna find a couple. I'm gonna find a couple more. Was. Here's here's another one of me. Stop. Yeah, we've seen this one before. Oh, wow, are you you're Adam. I'm, I was playing Adam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was there an Eve or no? The costume doesn't really work. <laughs> Go. Yeah, you've got just a little, for our audio now. listeners, you've got a leaf covering your genitals, and you're otherwise nude. There you it just is. zoomed in on the leaf. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I, I foresee He's this being... This going to be my lock screen. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a most replayed section of the YouTube video, unfortunately. You guys said there was an Eve. Oh I maybe God. was playing Eve. I can't really tell there with the, oh when I zoom in on the genitalia. You know when you like, rent fast times, and yeah. it's, they are taking the top off? It's like, <laughs> yeah, the, it's all the, the tape's all fucked up. <laughs> there i'm a nintendo power Stop. sweatshirt oh that's a cool sweatshirt you're blonde as hell i was blonde as hell yeah. how do you have all these photos where do you uh, keep I took them in my house this sweatshirt is elite i great. wish you still had that i, I was it was a good sweatshirt yeah I, yeah that's a cool sweatshirt my mom probably tossed it fucking bitch <laughs> There's Nintendo Power and it's got Mario on it you know it would be a sick look the the super nintendo sweatshirt with the with the adam Bush. <laughs> Together. I love my mom very much, by the way. Yeah. Um, great mom. Great mom. Um, I have your same Mitch ornament. You know the Mitch ornament? That makes that. that it's on my tree every year. That, wow. Yeah. Tim Sicardo will always send me a pic of the of the Mitch ornament. That, yeah. that warms my heart. My mom has it too. I know. I think I saw like she, she the does, screen. She keeps it at, she yes, keeps it next to her year TV round. year yeah. round. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. have my Mitch t shirt still. Wow. And I've wore, I wear it all the time. Like, I've had two husbands wow. like, have to stare at that t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and, and like my second husband, he doesn't like, I don't think he understood, like knew about what's going on with Mike Mitchell. Like he did. He's he was like, why do you have that shirt? And I'm like, shut up. Like, I don't need to explain <laughs> this to you. Because it was like merch from your show. You had to be yeah. in the audience that night to get to that get shirt. To get the shirt, yeah. Which you also were in the show. You, yes. You, 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 oh, I you... saw Catherine Burns yesterday. She says hi, by the oh, way. Oh, wow. Wow. Love Catherine Burns. Yeah. Because we were in your show together. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. And she's won two Emmys and was like killing it. Very, I, very accomplished. I got the news alert about the Sims movie and I was like, Catherine, please choreograph the Sims movie. Please. She's a choreographer. Yeah. She, yeah. Chore don't know. she choreographed a video I did, a Funny or Die video, Gungan style back in the day. Oh, yeah. And she also appeared in it. She was yep. Princess Leia. Yeah. Which I was just watching at the at the the other day. And she's is she in the video at the end with Dutz too? Yeah. Is, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's Funny a, enough, I was just watching her new reel and that didn't make the cut. Weird. <laughs> I'll just send her a message. Yeah, there was like all I'm these, sure all these big celebrities in there, all these prestigious projects. You know, she did the Borat movie, all these things. Right, right. You didn't make the cut. Yeah, yeah she probably like thought it would be <laughs> weird to ask or something. Yeah. But I'm fine with it. Like she yeah. can totally do I'll it. I'll tell her. Yeah. Well, okay, she's great. won a couple of Emmys. Uh, we won um, our iHeartRadio's uh, Best Food Podcast wow. Award. That's true. You won an iHeart Award. Yes, an attribute won as well uh, last year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I mean, Best Emmys are cool. But fashion pod. Did y'all get an award? I, we, I have a trophy. They never sent me one. Wait, really? No, and I'm like, wow. who, whose dick do I have to suck to get my iHeart award? 
Hello? <laughs> Mr. iHeart? Are you listening? Do I have to suck the Los Culturistas dick or something? Like, well, how do I get my damn award? Somebody called me. I was really upset. I'm pretty yeah. sure when I asked where the iHeartRadio award should be shipped when we got it, someone texted back and said, the dumpster? <laughs> I said city dump. There it is. Wow. Well, I said city dump. Wow. <laughs> I respected the award. Thank yes, you yeah. for the award. It's nice. He's going to make you cut that out, aren't you? No, I don't care. Really? Yeah, we said on the podcast before. I'll dig it out of the trash and put it on my shelf because I want my <laughs> damn award. You should get it. How ungrateful. I took that trophy. Yeah. And it's now in my house that I'm decluttering because I save everything. I don't know who these people are. I don't know what the voting parameters were, but sure, I'll take an award. Why not? <laughs> there wow. you go. That's a nice attitude. Yeah. The what fries, a speech. The fries were not good. <laughs> the fries were not good. So this is this yeah. is an issue. And these this places is an issue. feel like they they these are delivery concepts. And yes, I know that they have a physical store, but the physical store does not even have any inter- interior seating. None. It is like a Papa John's. It yes. is a pickup mm. location. This place is a, it, it, these delivery focused concepts feel like they have to have fries because that's the expectation, yes. but the fries are never good. No. And I feel like figure something else out. Have like a really good potato salad or something like that. Have a great vegan potato salad. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I'm with you. That's no. just the first pitch. It could be whatever. We didn't like the first pitch. Y'all don't have Zoom on these cameras, right? Are <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're making a face? Like, I, maybe potato salad isn't the solution. Mm, I want a hamburger. You know what would be good with that? A potato salad. That's a fine cookout combo. Here, zoom in here. <laughs> I couldn't really do the face as well. <laughs> the eyebrows, though. Potato salad, mac salad, coleslaw. These are classic sides you could have with that. Were the, the tots not? Better because I, I feel like the tots, tots are great hold either. up more. They were a little better, but also I'm just like, eh, it's it, n- none of it travels all that right. Well. Those those fr- that fried stuff all gets soggy. You gotta pop them in the air fryer. Yeah. Does this place have an air fryer? We Y'all got one. cold brew on tap. You'd think we should get an air fryer. Headgum could have an air fryer. That, that would, would be, be fun. fun. That would help. Anya? But even tell <laughs> Anya she'll be thrilled to hear another fucking request <laughs> from you. <laughs> You want me to text her? No. Okay. <laughs> but even if the fries weren't cold from yes. delivery, they still weren't giving McDonald's. Yeah. Has anyone, y'all tell me you're the experts, has any restaurant got the fries on lock no. like McDonald's? No. no. Like, no. why? What no. is it? Is it that beef tallow? Is that what gives them that flavor? Yeah, is I, it the cut? Is it the salt? What is it? So we were talking this because we were trying to see if the fries were still vegan, if, if the fries I were vegan. Up, they're, not they're not in America. In yeah. other countries, a lot of places they are, wow. but in America they are not. They use beef stock, it looks like. And so so they are not vegan. You can't have them. Uh, yeah. They're not vegetarian even. Yeah. Um, but uh, the they used to be cooked with beef tallow back in the day. For co- is, is that like inside of bones? What's tallow? It's t- beef tallow is like beef fat, so they fried them in oh, beef fat. Oh, okay, yeah, well, yeah. I don't, I didn't know. So I'm pretty, Emma you came in with that answer. To, okay. Yeah, I thought I like you. I thought that was what, yeah. what it was. Um, no, a marrow. I think marrow, 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 marrow. Yeah. marrow. Uh, all right. Um, no, it's more like lard. What lard is from a pig? Tallow is from a, from. And now cow. it is is vegetable oil, but they also use beef stock. Is that what it is? There's I guess beef in the in the uh, fries, so it's not in what they're fried in anymore. But they put beef into the fries so that they have got a it. similar flavor to when they were fried. When in they beef. Were, got it, yeah. I mean, they it works pretty well. Yeah. Still, they're still great. Yeah. I don't remember what they tasted like before that change anymore, but I'm sure that they were great. Better, maybe? I don't know. I think that was honestly, Mitch, before either of us would have remembered it. Because they made oh, that wow. beef tallow switch in the 80s. Like oh, it, wow. May, maybe even in the 70s. 1990. I'll look oh, was that okay. recent? Yeah. Then maybe we do remember Y'all were both it. little blonde boys sucking on your beef tallow fries. <laughs> <laughs> He'd made a change at that point. 1990, this guy had changed. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You, you switched over? You switched the over great at that point. change occurred. <laughs> No, I think it was. I still would have been blonde into the early nineties. I was still a little bit blonde in middle school. Yeah. There you go, buddy. I changed over. Yeah, nineteen nineteen ninety four and five mm-hmm. six somewhere in there. Yeah. Yeah. The times were changing too. So yeah, for yeah. me, it was. Yeah. yeah, Berlin Wall's coming down. OJ's Soviet Union's on the collapsing. Highway. Oh, Jay's out there driving the, around. The job market was great, though. Job market was yeah, great. Clinton, yeah. Clinton right? Clinton online, we're signing on for the first time. You got oh, yeah. mail. Oh, what the I you got mail? remember that. I remember that. Yeah. We had one eight hundred be a geek. 
Remember oh, that? Right. Mm. Yes, I do. We remember were not that. an AOL house. Wow. I never had an AOL. You never address. had AOL. Well, I had AIM, obviously. Of course. Sure. But I never had like Jackie at AOL. Whatever. Man, we've known each other long enough that maybe I knew your AIM. Isn't that fucking? Whoa. Isn't that horrifying? I think I've told this po- the story of the podcast before, but uh, do you remember ICQ, which was adjacent around the same time as AIM? It was a similar chat program. Mm. So ICQ, uh, I was chatting with a, a a girl when I was younger, and um, uh, like I was told her like I was 17, uh, whatever. We just, like, we're one of those things where you just, it's someone you just know from online. Yeah. And she reached a certain point, and she was like, can you send a picture? And I, like, this was pre, you know, the, it was like dig, read the availability of digital cameras. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Not like you had, people had like a fucking smartphone where you could just take a selfie on, on the fly. You had to have a, a picture of yourself uploaded Scanned on the computer. in, yeah. Yeah. So I didn't have one. Um, so I instead sent her a pic of my dad <laughs> and I said, this is my- I look like this. I look like this, but like 30 years younger. I said that. <laughs> Did you get blocked? She was like, you don't look 17. And then she stopped talking yeah. to me. <laughs> I explained it. I thought I explained it it's pretty clearly. It's usually the opposite. It's usually yeah. like a grown man pretending to be 13. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, yeah, now he sends a picture and he says, I look like this, but 30 years older. <laughs> <laughs> the blonde hair. <laughs> the blonde hair guy. Uh, that is very funny. Why the early internet is... era. I remember I G see... chatting. G chat. Oh, yeah, G chat. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I remember like yeah. Alex Fernie and I would G chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a big G chatter. He was a big G chatter. Yeah, yeah. Um, ICQ was this like a like before 4chan or something like that? Uh, it would have predated 4chan. Yeah, I know you're making a joke, but I, I was mean, saying it sounds like yeah, a you're saying like a proto 4chan. Fucking... That's what you're saying, but that, yeah, it does predate it. I think. All right. Well, thank you for giving me the real answer, you asshole. I was trying to say you're a QAnon <laughs> guy. You turned it on me. That's okay. Uh, uh, that's very funny. Yeah. Poor girl. I mean, Actually, I'm sure everything worked out. I used to always all like, for the better for I her. Would, yeah, I would course. always cyber and like send. Like pictures and like I was all into that. Wow! Wow! Really? Yeah. And I'd I, lie. I'd be like, I'm, you know, 17 female Texas, and I was really like 12. Oh damn! Wow! And Jesus then my Christ. dad was like, you could be talking to like the guy across the street. You don't even know. Right. And then I was like, but I'm lying too. And then I got really weirded out because I was like, we both don't know who we're talking to. Yeah, it's true. The 90s were crazy. <laughs> it's true. It's very true. Wild West out there. I've, it's true. I'm not going to touch yeah, it. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I'm don't too go afraid there. to touch it. But I love those Yahoo chat rooms. Oh my god, I loved them. They were yeah. so fun. Yeah. I'm too. I'm too afraid to. I'm too. Yeah, afraid I to think touch that's it. smart. Bad time. I think I'll just leave it. Yeah. Leave it yeah. there. Don't touch it. Dan Schneider. That's all I was. <laughs> I, that's oh, what I was wow. going to say. I haven't watched that yet. I watched it. It's oh yeah. Bad. I, yeah, it's yeah. Bad. I gotta watch this thing. We'll put it on your list. <laughs> well, I gotta watch. I'll, when I, I know. I'm saying you're gonna put on the list. Yeah. I'm excited. I love a doc. I'm into docs. I think docs have gotten too long. They've gotten too long, and they've also they stretch them out so yeah, much. I'm so like, much this filler. could have been a commercial. Exactly. Yeah. That, Netflix that's, is really milking it. Give me the give me the the 90 minute doc self contained thing. I don't need the six part mini series. Yes. But I know the economics of it. That people expect a, a six parter. I can't. T- I watched that documentary, and you told me the craziest Dan Schneider story. That's not in that story. Oh, it's not in the doc. It's not on the dock. That's funny. It's but it's insane. We'll tell you after. Were you a child actor? No. With that blonde hair and that oboe? Could have been. <laughs> well, the bass clarinet. Bass clarinet, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did play the bassoon, which was a different double read, but I never played the oboe. I mean, I could have played the oboe, I'm sure. Yeah, sure. You think you could still play right now if we got one out? Yeah, I could. Wow. We do we were talking about this, Mitch. And this was a this was a weird thing. Mm. This is a thing you engineered. It was a it was a it was a fun surprise. Yes. Uh, you brought up someone. We were doing a live show in Denver, mm. and you brought up a fan on stage. That's right. With a bassoon, an mm. instrument I had not touched in twenty years, but I was oh. in California All State Orchestra as a high school senior. Okay. Yes. And um, uh, so you know, I was very I was a very accomplished uh, amateur bassoonist. Uh, and uh, I was able to to play. Uh, I was able to, to wail on that thing. I could play. The I think way. I asked you to play the Simpsons afterwards, too, didn't you? Did you play that? Or uh, I played Kevin's Country, which is the closing theme for the tonight, to the J Leno yeah. Tonight Show. Mm-hmm. Wow. Hey, that's your favorite episode. Take us away, Kevin. <laughs> He did it pretty. Oh, the Leno was perfect. I gotta say, you knocked it out of the park. You're up there, even in that high altitude. Oh yeah, up there in that high altitude, he's 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 blown into this elbow. Well, that's not how I hold it, but yeah, keep going. He's blown into this bad boy. Uh, also, is a bassoon. It's Sorry, keep bassoon. Going. He's blown into this bassoon. His 
spit particles going everywhere. It's the day that the NBA shut down the season because of COVID. That's where I was going to say. This was going to yeah. land on. And that's what it was. Zero. We did this whole thing. They brought up a, a stranger's wind instrument. Mm -hmm. And I, I you put your mouth I put my no. mouth She did bring over. a fresh reed for you. She I did bring a fresh that. reed, which, did, was, yeah. which was a nice precaution. That's what she said. We don't yeah. know. Oh, yeah. Audience fucking, you know, crammed into a room this size. Uh, all uh, thankfully. Then we did a meet and greet. Then we did a meet and greet, Everybody and this was is licking y'all. And this is the day before like everything shut yeah. down. Like we, the next day we flew back, canceled the rest of the did tour. Did y'all get COVID? I did not get COVID in that first that first bit block, That's good. but I ultimately did get. it. I got yelled at by a lady in the airport for wearing an N95 mask. Yeah. A wow. lady who was a nurse. Yeah. Wow. She was like, she was like, those are my masks. No, she was like, those don't do anything for you. Yeah. Wow. Nurse. That's what she said. Yikes. Well, we didn't know anything back then, you know? We did not know anything back then. Wow. Yeah. The before times. Dan Schneider was on tour with us at that point. <laughs> <laughs> he was great. He was really good. Yeah, he was awesome. Is that he the lead singer us? of the yeah. B-52s? <laughs> Dan Schneider? <laughs> no, very different man. Nothing, I don't think, problematic about Fred Schneider. Oh, Fred yeah, Schneider. Yeah, Fred Schneider. It. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, we should get to great our final guy. <laughs> That's I did a little impression. <laughs> I guess it'd been Fred Schneider. Take it away, Kevin. <laughs> I like that your impression of Leno is then turns into an impression of Kevin doing the song. <laughs> That's what it, how the episodes would end. Yeah. yeah. I, hey, I was. I watched a lot. I of I was Leno. a Leno head. Yeah. I was. I was. I mean, I, Letterman. Time I think is, headlines. <laughs> I, I, I think. Pretty I think. I, I was. That was great. I, that was good. Letterman <laughs> is the funnier man. I just. I. I liked Conan, so I always had Leno on to watch Conan, which I know Le Leno is the less cool one. Yeah, I mean, this is the thing. Uh, it, 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 was, it was always. I like I, whatever. It's good that there there were two different shows for two different audiences. Yes. But I was always more of a Letterman guy. Always more of a Conan of guy. But I like Leno. Yeah. yeah, yeah. People were too hard on Leno. A lot of it was because of the Conan fallout, but, yes. but still, people were too hard on Leno. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mitch, did you know that nearly 75% of people have subscriptions they've forgotten about? You know, before I started using Rocket Money, I thought I had about 10 subscriptions. I could not believe it when they showed me I was paying for more than 15 subscriptions each and every month. Between streaming services, fitness apps, and delivery services, it's never-ending. Thanks to Rocket Money, I'm no longer wasting money on the ones I forgot about. Wow. Wags, Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills so that you can grow your savings. With Rocket Money, I have full control over my subscriptions and a clear view of my expenses. I can see all of my subscriptions in one place, and if I see something I don't want, Rocket Money can help me cancel it with a few taps. Doughboy's Patreon, the Doughboy's Double, bye-bye. Mitch, I love how the dashboard shows me this month's spending compared to last month so I can clearly see my spending habits. Plus, they'll help me create a custom budget and keep my spending on track. Rocket Money will even try to negotiate to lower your bills for you by up to 20%. All you have to do is submit a picture of your bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. They'll deal with customer service for you themselves, Wags. Wow. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has saved a total of $500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all of the app's features. Wow. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash doughboys. Do it. Uh, all right, we should get to our final thoughts on Mr. Charlie's. Uh, so, Jackie, yeah. uh, Jackster, you've done the show before. Yeah. We're going to each go around. Once give our... every three years. We'll get you back sooner. Mm. We're going to get you back sooner. Would you ever do a double? What is that? That's like the Patreon one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Really? Shout out to the Patreon people. Wow, okay. I have a Patreon myself. Shout out your Patreon. I just want to say it right here. Yeah. We could just do, do a Mitch Glam glam over. <gasps> oh my God. But we have to film it. Of course. Yeah, of course, yeah, of course we of course. I could get those those nose strips back out. Remember how disgusting your nose strip was? Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a more disgusting nose strip in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and that was before video. That was just for us. We I would we could do a Mitch Glam over wise. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. Look at I this have, guy's. Look at this guy's. Tootsies. I know they're I did. gorgeous. Thank you. I specifically. I want to hear about this. Well, I, I I've been getting gel petties. I've been treating myself. I don't know if this oh, is on camera. Oh, it's on camera. But I I specifically wore an open toed shoe today. This is two weeks old, so you know it's it's a little wow, bit scuffed it looks up. But good. thank you. I specifically wore this today because of you. Because I was like, oh, we we got we got the Jackster from Natch Butte here. I got to impress her with my tootsies. 
What made you choose this purple? Uh, it's a Lakers playoff run, although they're oh, probably okay. already eliminated by now. So when you go in there, you have no hesitation to be like, give me a gel colored. No, I Eddie. love it. Okay, I love that about you, honey. Yeah. Toxic masculinity, who? Not yeah, I, here. And, and I like it with the, with the toes because, you know. <laughs> yeah, when you need to be corporate and pulled together, exactly. you just it's, put a sock on. Exactly, okay, 100%. Yeah, we we'll see yeah. you, King. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Mitch? What about your toes? Oof, should I take mine out for a second? Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if I should. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, mine are not good. We can make a pedicure part of the glam up. I love it. Oh, my God. Let's do it. We can get, get, we get some people in here to... We could Face get people masks. in here to give us manicures and pedicures as we're as we're as we're recording. I'm just saying we could. The possibilities are endless, honestly. I love all of this. No, I want to do. Happen. I want to do like um some. I have some patches I need to stick on that face, <laughs> and we need to do the brows. We need a lot of them. Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm 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 down. Do you remember we put the face mask? I on do, it, and it was tiny. <laughs> yes. <laughs> remember, it's just like this little hat in the middle. <laughs> Do they make extra large sheet masks? I'll look. It's like putting I'll a, do my research. It was like putting a silver dollar pancake in the middle of a plate. Yes, it, was just like... it was exactly that. <laughs> and you said he looked like cummy Santa. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did the yeah, like, yeah. Santa cum. Yeah. That was your Prim. old apartment. The old apartment yeah. gone now. It's gone. That's the one where you got you got pranked, right? That's where I got pranked. Right. Yeah, okay, yeah. Ben, my second husband and I watched that the other night. It's so hard to find. You know, that's like bootleg. And we we were talked about this where everything dying laughing. when we thought everything would live on the internet forever. Yes. And yes. that turned out to not be the yes. case at all, really. Yes. A lot of work just lost, right. more so than even early TV stuff. Because yes. everything everything like that was on tapes. And the internet stuff, they just fucking wipe the computer, wipe wipe yeah. it off the wet. Yeah. It's gone. If the if a you know, if a still existing uh, unless a still existing network wants it on their YouTube specifically, then mm -hmm. it's just gone. Because a lot of this stuff was on legacy video websites, and those are all fucking dead, you know. Yeah. And 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 then if it's if it's on YouTube, it has to be a channel that still exists. But yep. yeah, good know. luck finding Grape Lady. <laughs> Only an NFT now. <laughs> so we'll each go around. We'll give our clothes. But yes, Jackster, returning to it, returning to booking you on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I'm available. We know, we know you got. We we know you're busy. Yeah. We know you would get a you know, baby. We know you had a, you had a, yeah. you had a kid, and and we're we're just always. You don't I, need to make excuses. No, Every three years, y'all call, and Mi that's fine. Mitch and I always feel like we're bothering you when we go out to you. And do I just, give that impression? No, I just like I. We just know you got stuff going on, and so but we love to I have you. Do on. we give the impression? That, are we bothersome? No. Really? Do I ever say no when you call me every three years? That's no. a good point. If I did, then, you know, y'all wouldn't be calling. <laughs> the show sucks. The show sucks. <laughs> we'll get you on sooner. We love having you here. You're one of our favorite guests. The last time I was on, y'all kept saying how bad the episode was. Mm. And I remember being like, wow. But then, y'all do that every episode. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't really feel special. Things haven't gotten better. We've gotten older and dumber. It's it's. <laughs> <laughs> hasn't things have not gotten good. Yeah, people can now hear us and see us not be That's funny. Right. It's yeah. just like Will you hand me that plant? This is like a monstera, I believe. Like a Is it like really? It's like a, a mini monstera. It's a pothos, but a monstera leaf. Yes. I just wanted to like kind of like whoa, whoa. Like I just like, <laughs> I don't know. That's a good bit. Yeah, yeah. I just thought I'd do something like that. Yeah. This, this is why this watchers. is why this is why we have this is why yeah, we yeah. have, we have yeah, video yeah. so you yeah. know you can like put a plant on your head. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I'm plant-based. Whoa. <laughs> We're going viral again. <laughs> you got good balance. Is this anything? Oh, shit. I mean, I like how you took a, a got a much smaller plant on your much bigger head. <laughs> it's like the silver dollar pancake on the plate. This now, that's kind of, a pothos. This is kind of like us this episode. Oh. Why? So I have better balance than you? Because this, this is, is this is a hard one to balance. No, I'm cheating because this is wrapped around my chin. I don't oh, really okay. have balance like this. Why? I think I might have better balance than you. No, I have great balance. I know balance, that you say I turn this everything is, into a this competition. Is tough. All right, hold on. Maybe your hair's still silky smooth. Here, here, swap. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> swap here, swap. Okay, okay. I think Wait, that one has a bigger base, but I could should, be wrong. Y'all should try this one because it's automatic. <laughs> oh, you're right. This one is. Wow. This, is this is a little trickier. Wow. This is a little trickier. We're going right? viral no right dirt. now. <laughs> We're going viral right now. Uh oh. Zoom that camera out, sweetie. I don't like this. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that gym's paying off. I might. I have a flat top head more so than yeah, mine. This is tough. This is I, tricky. Because I'm doing. Where a lot are you balancing better. it at? Just on the my, the flat 
top of my head. <laughs> okay, so you're doing it a little bit more forward. I think that's the trick. Yeah. But it still, it still wants to lean. How many episodes have y'all done? You've never put the plants on your head yet? We, we've never done this. I also like that the guy who Here. fell and hit his noggin in the bathroom and spills constantly says, I have great Here. balance. Here. Try this, I do have great balance. It's just hard to balance things one. on my head. You guys have, I have a huge head. Yeah, you, Jackie's balance. Jackie's doing great. Jackie, you got good balance. Yeah. I got pretty good balance, the too. The Pilates are paying off. <laughs> That's a good look. It hides the eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> this is us this episode we're plant this based. is how plant-based we yeah. are this episode oh why well, can't get it right so that the three Look of us have what charlie's did to us <laughs> oh so i see you get it pretty far forward then <laughs> that's the trick <laughs> he can't he's he's like not barely opening his mouth yeah yeah it looks like he blew a fuse <laughs> <laughs> An old, very still. Yeah. It's, Anyways, it's let's get to our final to, thoughts. Yeah, on final, that. thoughts. <laughs> final thoughts. So, Jackie, you've done yeah. the podcast before. Yes. <laughs> uh, we'll rate the chain from zero to five forks. Your thoughts forks. on Mr. Charlie. Okay. Mm. Obviously, points for getting the vegan message out there. Mm. The nostalgia of the taste of McDonald's, that goes very far with me. Why are you with his hands in the air so creepy, by the way? I. Just don't enjoy it. I'm trying to have him on standby in case something starts to topple. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'll do it I'll, to make everyone this feel is comfortable. This called the cactus pose. <laughs> <laughs> you said to five forks? Yeah, zero okay. to five forks. Mm -hmm. I, okay. Plant-based, great. McDonald's mm. nostalgic taste, great. Yeah. The message of the company, um, I like that they employ unhoused slash incarcerated folks. Mm -hmm. We love that. Right. They need a soda fountain. Yeah. They need to up their pussy game on the fries. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Wait, what? They need to step their pussy game up on the fries. Oh, okay. You heard what I said. All right, I heard it right then, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I also think that they need an indoor cute space. By the way, I just want to talk about how, I just want to talk about how, if you said that to them, how how endearing it would be, and if I said that to them, how threatening it would be. Yeah. You need to up the pussy game on these fries. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying not to laugh. Now that is a viral meme clip. <laughs> Isolate just that sentence With out of With a plant context. on my head. <laughs> I said, I said. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and be generous. Mm. And give it four. Wow. Four, four spoons. Forks. Four, four forks. Four and forks. Spoons. And spoons. We, we reviewed and, spoons last time you were here. And guess what? What's that? I'm giving an extra one, making it four for the white sauce, bitches. Wow. wow. White sauce redemption. <laughs> wow. Justice for the white sauce. <laughs> wow. Four forks. Another thing that Mitch and I should not be saying justice for the white sauce. <laughs> 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 We need to bring justice to, uh, for the white sauce. Wise, do you want to go next? Well, how do you feel? Yeah, I'll go next. Okay, I'll go I... next because I know exactly where I stand and I know where this place is headed. Mm -hmm. McCharlie's, I'm sorry, Mr. Charlie's. I almost Mr. called it. Mr. I think I I've been calling it, it that. Yeah, Oops. but it, it's natural to call it McCharlie's because it's trying to do McDonald's. But Mr. Charlie's. Mr. Mm -hmm. Charlie's. With the, uh, you know, the enough plausible deniability to claim that it's not directly inspired by McDonald's, though it clearly is, uh, I think belongs to the Golden Plate Club. Golden Arches Club, if you will. I think this is a four-fork chain. I think it's a pretty impressive execution. Mm. I agree with the Jackster. It could, you know, up the pussy game on its fries. It definitely could add some desserts. I think yes. why not a and vegan a apple, a vegan apple pie, fountain drinks, please. Why not a uh, why not a vegan McFlurry? Why not an attempt at a, at, at the classic Sunday with the, the hot fudge Ooh. and the nuts? That would be a lot of fun, right? I think that I think they probably could explore more of the McDonald's menu, but I do think that as it stands, I think this is a very impressive chain, and and, and I think it's it's a good concept, and I think they're doing good stuff, and I can look past some of the obnoxious aspects of the branding to give this four forks because I think that's what it deserves. I'm not sure if I'm there. I'm not sure if I'm there on the. <laughs> this is insane. All right, well we'll keep doing it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm there on the four forks. I, I can't. I wonder if you can convince me on the four forks, or if you want me to. Con I don't to need convince to convince me. you. You should say what you think. Uh, there were interesting sodas there. I had I had the white grape soda. Yeah, and these are canned sodas, to be clear. You you should just stop trying to do the plant thing. It's I've been doing pretty good. It's falling off your head constantly. Can I try good. the little one? Yeah, can sure. Can I try the little one? 
You're gonna do. You're, you've done great with each one. I had mine. I had mine steady on my head for a while. We look like freaking Pikmins. Wags. Yeah, we do like like. We look like Pikmins. freaking Pikmins. I'm drinking Captain, soda while Captain Olimar gonna still... come in here. We look like freaking Pikmins. I'm balancing it while drinking soda. Yeah, that's impressive. We look like freaking Pikmins. I'm over here looking like Bulbasaur. What the fuck's going on here, Wags? You look like freaking Bulbasaur. You look like Pikmins. You look like a. Uh, you look like the. Uh... You look like like a creep trying to like hide in an elementary school parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> Weiger looks like the most uh, boring guy on a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm having fun now. <laughs> um, oh. I uh, I thought what this chain is trying to do is be the vegan version of McDonald's. And I think that it is very – I think they do a very good job of doing it. And, I, and it's tough for me because I don't know if this is a full four – Fork chain, but then I've also been accused of being anti-vegetarian uh, in the tournament. People thought I had it out for the potato soft taco. Yeah. Um, if you think it's a four fork chain and you're a vegan, I think that that does a lot for me because I was around three point seven five forks. Yeah, can you do that? Three point seven five yeah. forks. Yeah, you can, you can do we, that. We can, you can do anything yeah, you, you can want on this fucking bullshit podcast. Um, but I, I wasn't. I'm not entirely sure. I think that. They gotta up their French fries. They gotta yeah. get soda. The up the pussy game. That's that's why for me I feel like it's closer to three point seven five, mm -hmm. and I feel sad to r ruin the Golden yeah, Play Club. I would, I would if I were you. And I would feel too sad. That's why I'm not gonna do it. Oh, wow. I'll give it four forks. Whoa! Four forks. Congratulations Whoa! to Mr. Charlie's. Welcome to the Golden Plate Club. Wow. Richly deserved. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at us plant heads. Clearly, he like doesn't want to talk or do too much with the plant on his Fuck. head. <laughs> Bitch, take it off your fucking head. I you was doing pretty good. You're not good at balancing stuff on your head. You might have good balance. I do have good balance. The issue is my, I think it's my head shape because I'm realizing I have to put it pretty far forward on my head. It naturally feels like it should rest up here. Yeah. But yeah. like I have to push it pretty, because this is a flat. It's that USB right port. It's fucking. <laughs> All right. Can't balance it on it. Yeah, if there was a plug on the plant, it would fit great. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and say you suck at it. Uh, you're bad at it. I'm good at it. No, you're not. I'm good at it. <laughs> you're not good at it. I'm you're at the it. worst of the three. Yeah, but it's hard. Listen, we can't play the bassoon. Yeah, you're great at the bassoon. Yeah, we all have our strengths. So I me, got it. Look, I got it. Give me a couple of weeks. I think I could out bassoon you. No chance. Fuck. <laughs> you, can, you can out bassoon the both of us. Yeah. Well, yes. But you suck with the fucking plant on I your head. I did great. Not everybody's got it. Uh, all right. That was our review of Mr. Turtle. Charlie's. <laughs> I've got a food-related exam, and Mitch and the Jackster must compete for superiority. It's another edition of Slop Quiz. Wow, our second quiz today. And there is a mystery theme here. Wow. So, you know, if you, can, if you can figure out the mystery theme, you get an extra point. I'm going to go into laptop mode here so they can keep the score. Uh, so buzz wow. in with your name. I will ask each question in sequence. The first question is, which which Hershey's chocolate bar is known for its milk chocolate and peanut combo? Wait, what? Which Hershey's chocolate bar is known for its milk chocolate and peanut combo? Which her milk chocolate? Jackie. Go ahead, Jackie. The milk chocolate peanut bar? It is not the milk chocolate <laughs> peanut bar. <laughs> I'm confused by this question. Which Hershey's chocolate, chocolate bar, bar is known for its milk chocolate and peanut combo? I don't know. I was gonna say Snickers, but like that's not Hershey's. No, it's got to It's got to be a Hershey's bar. It's Mars. Uh, we right? were we were searching for Mister Good Bar. Oh, oh Mister Good I love Bar. Those. I'm an idiot. I used to love those. I'm an idiot. I didn't. I Casey would have gotten it. You know, like at <laughs> Halloween. Like Mr. Good you know, bar? <laughs> you know Halloween when there's those the yeah. little ba variety bag with yeah. the little yeah yeah. I, the little yellow. It's been a long time since I had a Mister Good Bar. Yeah. All right, question two. Next up, this snack food brand mascot was conceived in 1916 through a schoolboy's sketch in a design contest. Once chosen as a winner, a commercial artist added a top hat, monocle, and cane. Jackie! Bitch. Jackster. Mr. Peanut. It bitches. is Mr. Peanut. <laughs> bitches. Uh, uh, Mitch, the theme is peanuts. 
Admit you are not right. Are we allowed to chime in before you finish? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that was fine there. All right, next up. Rude now. <laughs> Which brand of all-purpose product features a bald, muscular hunk as its mascot? Mitch. Jackie! I heard Mitch. Mr. Clean. You are correct. It is Mr. Clean. Yes. Fucker. I knew that. I, I get, I, I, all the time I get confused for him. That makes sense. <laughs> Number four, which brand founded in 1956 is famous for this catchy jingle? Emma's going to play the jingle. Uh, oh, oh, God, I know this. We're hearing like a little bit like what something might be played from a, a truck. Jackie. Yes. Mr. Goodbar? It's not Mr. Goodbar. Wait, can you, play, can you play it again? I, I do. I know yeah. this. This is a jingle that might be played from a moving vehicle. Casey's got it. You're gonna need an answer, Spoon Man. I know this is just driving nuts. Is there a time limit? No. But I mean, you know, <laughs> within reason. 25 seconds left. Yeah. Uh, 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 Jackie. Go ahead. Good and. No. No, I already said Mr. Goodbar, but. I'm trying to think of other <laughs> ice creams. I'm trying to think of other ice oh, cream. You were right. You gave it to me. Good humor. No, it's no? not good humor. Oh, see, I knew there was Casey, another one with it? good. I knew there was another one with is good. Is it Mr. Frosty? It is Mr. Softy, but oh, you are close. Wrong, bitch. You're close with the Mr. though, you Mr. Goodbar. Yeah. All right, next up. This character is described by its creator as a child in a grown man's body and was developed while he was studying for his master's in electrical engineering in the early 1980s. Child in a grown man's body? Yes. Great. Mitch. Swagger? I'm a totally young buddy. <laughs> okay, a mascot. One more time. This character is described by its creator as a child in a grown man's body and was developed while he was studying for his master's in electrical engineering in the early 1980s. 1980s? Child in a grown man's body. Also, if you haven't figured out the theme, the theme may be a clue here. Mascots? Theme is not mascots. It's more specific. Pedophiles? <laughs> oh, I, I, can, I, can I get a point for the, for the theme? Yes, go ahead. The answers all have Mr. in the name. You are correct. Oh! And the answer here is, uh, I have no fucking idea. Mm. The Six Flags guy? Is he Mr. Mr. Somebody? Six? No, it's not, it's, not, it's not the Six Flags guy. Mr. Six? It's yeah, not Mr. Six? Jackie, you want to take a guess? Um, Mr. Um, Dr. Feelgood? Not Dr. Feelgood. Mr. It Good is, and Plenty? It was Rowan Atkinson's Mr. Bean, Bean. of course. Oh. Mr. Bean, also a food. I was, I was, was, think, I was, I was, I was thinking in the food, food world. Mascots. Well, it is in the food world. Bean is in there. Number six, oh, which what so international <laughs> baked goods chain? <laughs> don't, don't you, I roll. I've, I mean, <laughs> no. I, well, you've, 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 Mr. You've, Bean, we don't think of food when we hear Mr. I'm Bean. I'm saying, you've given me a hard time, you've given him a hard time, but now after hearing that, like, yes. it's good to give him the hard yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Look at this fucking, what is that shit? Mr. Bean? It's Mr. food, Bean ain't food. <laughs> Mr. Bean ain't no damn food. It's not food, Wags. I think it counts. I get a point for that Mr. Mr.? Yeah, you get a point for the mister. Yeah, you got yeah, two points. Jackie point. has one. You get your point. Next up, what international baked goods chain originally found in the U.S. in 1956 is still popular in Japan, Taiwan, and Southeast Asia? Can you say it again? What international baked goods chain originally founded in the U.S. in 1956 is still popular in Japan, Taiwan, and Southeast Asia? We know there's going to be a mister prefix. I, I, yeah, we know no. that. Also, did anyone catch that I said this is a, there was a mystery theme here? Mr. Nice. I did not get it. <laughs> I don't know. This is a good quiz. I'm going to give you credit. It's a good quiz. I mean, the quiz. But yeah, it is a good quiz. Uh, oh, so, so you didn't matter. That makes sense. Okay. You're bread, pretty shitty at bread, quizzes. Bread. <laughs> um, uh, I, don't, I, uh, I have no idea. We're looking for Mr. Donut. Oh. Mr. I don't Donut. Know that. I don't Mr. Know that. Donut. I don't know it. Not. Nah, don't feel bad about it. Mr. Donut. Oh, I don't. Don't feel bad. What is the online alias of next up? What is the online alias of James Stephen Donaldson, a YouTuber with over 245 million subscribers? <gasps> Jackie. And... <gasps> Mr. Beast. It is Fuck. Mr. Beast, founder of a restaurant we reviewed, Mr. Beast Burger, mm -hmm. now subject of a lawsuit against uh -oh. uh, Robert Earl 
and his empire of ghost kitchens. Next up, this 1886 gothic novella written by Robert Louis Stevenson explores themes about the duality of human nature and features a scientist looking to separate his good side from his bad. Oh, I know this. Uh, no, I don't. No, I, I'm all, no. Say it again. I this do know 1886 this. gothic novella written by Robert Louis Stevenson. Does anyone's heads hurt from having the fucking plan on your head? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Louis Stevenson, like my vision's been fuzzy. Uh, Robert oh, Louis shit. Stevenson explores themes about the duality of human nature and features a scientist looking to separate his good side from his bad. Oh, wait, but it's Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. No. Yes, I'll, I'll give it to no, you. No, that's the, what I was going to say, the, but that's not Mr. The strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Oh, I see you, King. Yeah. <laughs> Mitch takes that one. It's three to two. Knew Mitch that, to Jackie. But I was confused. There's two left. Wait, I That's have three points. Game. You have three points. You rub it in, bitch. There's there's two left. It's anyone's game. It's anyone's game. Anyone's game. Number nine. King Friday the thirteenth, Lady Elaine Fairchild, and Mitch. Mr. Mc... Stop. Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. It is Mr. Rogers' you neighborhood. Mitch is gonna win, but we we do have one more. Why don't we get, make this one for all the marbles? Okay, then this one will decide. So the whoever contest. wins this one wins the whole game. Yeah. Oh shit! I see you. Pertinent to this week's chain. What band wrote the song Mr. Charlie, which served as inspiration for the vegan restaurant of the same name? I have I'm no assuming this doesn't have a Mr. in the title because that the one does. The Mr. is in the clue. It is not in the answer. Say it one more time. What band wrote the song Mr. Charlie, which served as inspiration for the vegan restaurant of the same name? Is this an 80s band? Uh, it, could be, it could be called an 80s band. It's certainly a band that you would go see live in concert. Maybe consume the a little. The Eagles? It's not the Eagles. Aerosmith. Not Aerosmith. Mm. No, this is a bit of more I mean, of a jam Van Halen. band. Oh, Fish? Oh, man. Not Fish. A jam band. The Grateful Dead? It is the Grateful I'll give it to Jackie Wins. Congratulations. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, Jackie happens. Wins. <laughs> As per Mitch's rules. Happens. That's what happens when you whisk it out, motherfucker. <laughs> This isn't fair. At the end I'm of the, sorry, but it is. At the end of, what you said. It's not fair. At the end of the game, I was all dizzy from the plant being on my head. I didn't know what was going on. Do you guys have soft spots? <laughs> Did your head never come It might be. He was, he was also pulling his head apart earlier. There's something... He looks fucked up. It did now. make my vision blurry. Oh, God. Uh, hey, just like a restaurant about your feedback, so let's have a feedback. Today's email is from no Brian. There's no Mr. Slice answer? My old nickname. Where is there a Mr. Slice? This is my name. My it, old... So the clue would have been, what's Mitch's what old nickname? What about the band yeah. Mr. Mister? Uh, Mr. Mister would have been good. What was their song? Um, uh, Roxana. Oh, no, wait, yeah. that's Toto. Um, uh, they have a song called Kiri that's really good. Okay. I remember there was a band called Mr. Big, too. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. That would have been fun. And then there was also Mr. Big, of course, on Jeez, that would have been, both of those would have been fun. What the well, hell? That, those would have been fun. Give Amelia the note. Just oh, like a um, restaurant about your feedback, take yeah. Take these broken wings. Oh, that's a, that's a banger. Learn to fly mm -hmm. He's really good. He has amazing mm -hmm. vocals. Mm -hmm. He's in Ringo Starr's All-Star Band. Really? Lead, and he sounds like an angel. Wow. Still. Wow. That's cool. That's cool. Take these chicken wings <laughs> and learn to fry again. Fry again. Yeah, there you go. You <laughs> said it? You said fry? Right, we'll do it for a future segment. Uh, just like a restaurant about your feedback, let's open the feedback. Today's email is from Brian. Brian writes... Hey guys, haven't sent in a feedback question in a long time. I'm curious, what famous fast food item has seen the steepest drop off in quality or taste in the last 20 years? I'd argue Ooh. that a plain McDonald's cheeseburger doesn't taste the same after all these years. Wow, that's a wild take. What do yeah. you think? I, I, you know, I have not noticed a change in the in the plain McDonald's cheeseburger. Jackie, I'm wondering. I have an I, answer. Is is there anything you're still eating from when you were younger? Like, is there any sort of consistency, coherency there, uh, or or is your 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 diet changed so drastically that there's nothing that you have a commonality with? I remember a few years. I mean, this is I guess a long time ago now, yeah. but I went to the one Sonic semi near us in Duarte, California. Oh yeah, but I'm that's sure Sonic. we've all been. Yes. Um, Catherine Burns, who we brought up already, was house sitting somewhere semi close to there, and we drove all the way to the Duarte, and I was so excited. I got a grilled cheese sandwich. This was when I was just vegetarian. I took a bite. It was disgusting. Wow. Salty, no. oily, and I just remember being like, has my palate shifted, right. or is just this, this was always trash, and I just didn't know it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Sonic has stepped his pussy game back up since then, <laughs> but it was nasty. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to the ocean waters. <laughs> and the cherry limeades. Catherine Those also fun. did uh, the um, 
choreo- choreography for uh, Renfield. That's right. Yeah, that's yeah. how that, out, I think that's how you got brought director up. Director of Tomorrow War. Yeah. Um, wow. Uh, and producer of Tomorrow, Samantha, who's been on the podcast. Yeah. Um, I have an answer for this, and it's we talked about this during Munch Madness. Yeah. My answer is Pizza Hut Pan Pizza. Oh. Yeah. Pizza Hut's fallen off. Pizza so Hut much. Pan, Pizza Hut Pan Pizza was good. Yeah. When we were when we were younger, they cooked it in a pan. It was buttery and yeah. crisp. It was in an oven. Ne- that was very what cute. What do they Jimmy cook it in now? Not an oven. They, they, it's I think mostly conveyor belts at Pizza Huts now. Like wow. the 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 little fucking they just get a shitty blow torch and just that's kind. Of, I mean, finish it off. It is kind of what happens yeah. now. Uh, those just those you know those 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 the conveyor belt ovens that they have at those pizza chains. Right. Uh, I think that's probably my answer is that Pizza Hut pan pizza likes. Is there? I know that there's other stuff and there's stuff here in in Hollywood that where I'm like, and I'm still loyal to it. Like I don't go to um, uh, what's it called, a Cactus Tuckery as much anymore, and I do sure. think it sometimes can be hit or miss. But so much of those places that took uh have taken a fall in the 20 years I've been out here is like these restaurants that have also have gone through a pandemic, right? You know what I mean? And 20 years in Los Angeles was by, I mean, like G Dynasty being open still yeah. is a miracle. I didn't even you know, know what I mean? Like, there. yeah, there, there's so many restaurants where look, if you're a restaurant that lasts even 10 years, even eight years, yeah. that is an accomplishment. It's a tough industry. So, 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 and out here, it's obviously very hard. So, when you're talking about like fast food items, I think that's a little bit trickier because I feel like it's. The, you know, it's up and down. We've been talking about how Wendy's fries have really fallen off. That was going to be my answer, Wendy's fries. Uh, but also, sorry. it's not. No, it's okay. Because it's also not exactly what Brian is asking, which I think is because they've they've revised Wendy's fries a few times. They've been like, we got sure. new fries. Check out our new fries. Like, they're that trying to introduce them as a, as a refresh. Yeah. Like, but, a refresh or rebranding is they're doing a bad job. But I think it's more interesting. For instance, we're coming on the op- opposite side of our Taco Bell tournament. Uh, I think the bean burrito has been very consistent at, at Taco mm. Bell over the years. I feel like that's like very familiar versus the bean burrito I remember having as a boy. The winner of the, the Taco Mexican Bell pizza. Uh, the the people know by now. Uh, the Mexican pizza, however, I feel like has fallen off quite a bit. I don't feel like it's like quite at the same level that it used to be. I feel like you, Dunkin' Donuts donuts used to be so good, I and love, they've that's fallen a great off over the past couple decades. I feel like that sometimes makes a lot you of can sense. get Dunkin' Donuts that uh, still hits, as they say. Yes, uh, but uh, but I feel like a lot of the time when you're, you're not the getting... same as when they baked the donuts no. in house that's the big thing the they, bagels, have a, they, they have a central kitchen now yeah. and they're shipping them into the stores instead of baking them in store obviously that's going to make a difference mm-hmm. mm-hmm. did y'all hear difference. about the wendy's thing where if you go at certain times they charge you different that was a thing they floated i think that was like a trial balloon and i don't think they they're, they're so ever actually going to yeah, why so would you quickly. ever think that was a good idea in this economy it's they, just it's just dumb tech so brain yeah. yeah i was mad too it is dumb tech brain why if they tomorrow if wendy said we're bringing back our old fries. How crazy. Everyone would, so many people would go back to get the old fries. Were they the ones that had the skins on them? They, They've had originally they didn't. Yeah. They they used to not have skins, then they added skin. Like right. they added skin probably, what, 15 years ago or something now, at least? I don't remember the exact timeline, but yeah, that was a, that was a big thing they introduced and it was like, whatever. Like I, all natural or Exactly, something. which is, who fucking gives a yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah. Potato. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, they... they 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 just have never quite landed on it. It goes back to what we we're saying about McDonald's fries. You jack off on that potato? Is that what you're No, it's there? just making a jack off motion like oh, this okay. is like a dumb thing to you know, it's whatever. Like, oh, oh we're gonna have we're gonna have surge pricing for our Wendy's. Yeah, fucking whatever. You know, it's just a little jack a little frustration jack off motion. I couldn't tell if you were jacking off on like an ookie potato. Or no, something. I wasn't gonna jack off onto the fries. Okay, all right, all right. I didn't know if you were spilling cream on the potato. No. <laughs> spilling whites. Spilling spilling whites. <laughs> <laughs> Spilling whites on a potato, if it's a certain white, can be good. If it was the um the sauce from today, yeah, <laughs> I still can never remember the name of this the what, place, Mister Charlie's. Mister Charlie's, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that is now in the Golden Plate That's Club. That's right, it's true, Mister Charlie's. I'm trying to think of anything else. I mean, like Jack in the Box tacos, I feel like are pretty frozen in time. I don't think those have really. I'm just trying to think of stuff they've had consistently over the years. I don't mm. feel like that one has changed all that much. You know, do y'all drink coffee? I do. It, what about the coffee chains? Has has there been consistency among the drinks at the coffee places? Well, I've never loved Starbucks. Um, I don't know if I've noticed any sort of drop off. You yeah. know, have you? I don't drink coffee. Do so. you drink any coffee? I drink matcha. 
Are you <laughs> so? Are you very like like? Do you just not like coffee or just like? No, caffeine? I had to get, I had to get off it. Yeah, I had I was drinking the Trentas every day. Oh yeah, and I was tough. driving, and I I was like, what's oh, going geez. on with my body? So in 2013, I quit coffee, like, and it was truly like detoxing. Wow. And I had headaches, and it was a nightmare. And I have not drank coffee since. I've thought about doing that. Are you? But are you caffeine free? Or you have no. Some I drink matcha now. Matcha has I'm a little a bit of caffeine. Head. Mm-hmm. Got it. And it's it, sustained energy as opposed to a spike in energy, which you get from coffee beans. <laughs> and you get, do you drink that in the morning like mm-hmm. you would coffee? Okay. Yeah. I, I keep, I keep pondering it. I mean, I actually just ordered a new French press because I'm just trying to di- have, I'm trying to, 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 I feel like it's for some reason it's going to make me have a little bit less coffee than I do yeah. when I brew up a big pot in the morning. Yeah. But, um. Hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know? Yeah, but I got to fucking figure it out because yeah. I feel like I'm having too much caffeine. Yeah. Here's my question. What gets the Austin Powers award? Where, from if you went back in time to the '60s, and you it, in it, in in you know it, would the item taste the same then as it does now? Right, like it's been in cryo oh, sleep sure the nothing, whole time. Nothing yes. would. Yeah, yeah, probably nothing. No, we yeah. got all them GMOs in our corn and shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. they've tried to, and they 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 just kind of keep trying to do the things of just like you know slightly reducing like the size of a patty. You know, or... it might be the same as that, the Whopper, like that charbroiled whatever. The Whopper is right? a pretty good answer, honestly. Yeah. That Whopper is pretty consistent. The Whopper is pretty good. I think that there's probably a quality dip in that too, though. Um, there has to be. There there's has to be. There's just been all around. I mean, I not smaller. in beauty yeah, product world. Yeah. There are creams that I spend $80 on and then I open them recently and they're, I'm like, what is this? It, it, just the ingredient grades are all going down. Right. The quality of our furniture and things mm-hmm. and cars. Heaven forbid you, you know, tap somebody in the parking lot and your whole friggin' thing caves in. Right. I can't believe it. Yeah. This, it sucks. Who's got all this money? Where are the corporate greed fat cats taking all the cash out of everything? I agree. Yeah. Fucking Amir and uh, yeah. <laughs> Jake. Jake and Amir. <laughs> yeah, you in that all corner office. All right, let's close the curtains. <laughs> that, that guy did close his office a few minutes ago, and I think it's because he heard us and he was like, "I'm trying to make calls over here." <laughs> and Marty, Marty, Marty's got work to do. Uh, trying to make calls, trying to get a replacement for Doughboys. <laughs> <laughs> I need two fat guys who are kind of dumb, not very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Look like a shit. lot of those. <laughs> oh. uh, hmm. Yeah, I, I, this is this is a tough one. I you mean, know what? I was I have another one. Uh, mashed potatoes from KFC. Mitch, that's a great answer. Thank you. They've gotten so much worse. They've gotten and, really and, bad. And there's been a precipitous drop drop off in quality of, of KFC sides. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one hundred percent. That's very noticeable. Thank you, Wags. KFC mashed potatoes. You know what? We ended this episode on you and me. <laughs> this is how we ended the episode. <laughs> Nice try. Nice, nice try, try Jack. Nice yeah. try. See you in three years. Yeah. <laughs> if you have a question or comment about the world of chain restaurants, you can email us at feedback at birdfuck.com or leave us a voicemail at 830 GoDo. That's 830 463 6844. And to get the Doughboys double our weekly bonus episode plus our entire pre 2018 back catalog, subscribe wow. at patreon.com slash Doughboys. Our producer is Emma Erbrink. Our associate producer is Amelia Marino. Also, our engineer is Casey Donahue, and our video editor is Mike Dorfman. If you're on Patreon and you pay for a back catalog, which is a picture of me and Wag's back, let us know because yeah. we could charge for that. So and we live in a dystopia now. We're, we're, we'll sell pictures of Wag's yes, feet. Of whatever true. we need. Whatever yeah. we got to do. Get mm-hmm. those subscribers. I do get a minute to plug, right? Of course. Okay. We're about to. I was about to. Oh, we're gonna. Up. You can plug. You okay, can get. You're gonna take if as many minutes as you want. Anyone still listening? Jackie Johnson, oh, our please. guest. They're, they're still they gonna be never, listening. No one's tapping out. They stay to the very end. Right, Wags? They can't get enough of the Jackster, and they should go see the Jackster live in Texas April 21st and April 28th. Wow, look at that. How exciting is that? Live in Texas. Live your in home Texas. state. Your home state. Right. You'll wow. be sitting, if you come to the Dallas show, you're going to be sitting next to my dad. Wow. That rules. John Johnson. Wow. Real name. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Not only do I have plugs, I also have presents. Wow. wow. I brought you both something. And I wow. brought it in a... <laughs> West Diagnostics in a urine, urine sample, sample bag. bag. Wow, how about that? <laughs> yeah, because I had this. Ooh, I think I have an idea of what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy got real interested. I had this in my... I, I keep all bags. You never know when yeah. you're going to need them. And I was going to mm. do a cute little gift bag, but then I saw this and I said... This is great. Yeah. 24-hour urine sample. Okay, ready? So I did a collab with this Houston-based artisanal 
um, brand called Source Vital Apothecary. <gasps> and wow. I did a line of products called the Kooky Southern Ant Collection. This I was wore before your I, deodorant. <laughs> yes, this was before I had my own child yeah. in my belly. So this is my Kooky Southern Ant Ass Oil. Wow. Wow. And I brought this for you based on you and Tony's conversation at the end of your episode <laughs> uh, a few weeks back. And this is the Kooky Southern Diozine Natural Deodorant. Whoa. I've for been Weiger. using the DOZ natural deodorant it. from Source Vital for years yes. because Jackie introduced me to it and I've never gone back. That's it's right. It's the best. So if Emma wants to steal it at the end of <laughs> no, the you show. No, keep it. This, it's a great, it's a great like gym bag item. It's Can awesome. It a little, little snack? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It might be a little like, you know. It's lovely. Yeah. It makes a really good room spray too. Yeah. What a great scent. If you, if you like um, spray the toilet right. water, you know, kind of like a poopery. Now this isn't for inside your ass. I just needed to clarify. Oh, yeah. Too late. <laughs> the bottle's empty. <laughs> it's oil. Yeah, yeah. Put, open it. Put some on. Can I put it? Can I put it on? Yeah. It's, Wait, what? Oh, this isn't piss at all. What the fuck? Where do you put like what? But where do you put ass oil? It's body oil. Oh, it's body oil. We were just oil. being funny. We were just being funny because I always talk about. Your ass. I always talk about oiling up your ass. Got it. Okay. Oiling up your ass. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Oiling up your ass is self care. You mean like the exterior, like your like your cheeks? Yeah, yeah. I just think your ass deserves a little love. Like yeah, sure. You lotion in your legs. You lotion in your arms. You oil up your ass. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that what? dry skin. Ooh. Ooh, what do we think? Hey, let's, let's let's swap products. Let me try this oh. with that ass oil. <laughs> Come on, give me the ass oil. Give me the ass oil. I've These heard this legs before. are looking a little dry. Okay, let me try it out. Just, are they really? No, they mm. actually don't. They look great. I am I am very conscious of my skin, so. Yeah, no, they look great. All right, let me put a, I'll put a little bit on my thigh right there here. There we go. It smells Ooh, that lo- feels great. It smells lovely in here. It yeah, does. I, I could smell from here. What a scent. Yeah. I love this. I don't remember. I know frankincense is one of the notes. Um, and I don't remember the rest. Kind of almost has a uh, Oh, a grapefruit. I know there's a grapefruit note. Um, but yeah. This wow. guy's the he's the Daniel Plainview of uh, ass oil. <laughs> <laughs> I drink your ass oil. <laughs> Because in the movie it says, I drink your oil, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an ass oil man. <laughs> you look how beautiful your arm is glistening. It is. It is. Yeah, there's a there's a nice little uh, uh, luminous Straight back. quality on my thigh now. There we go. I actually have a miniature dozing deodorant wow, in my bag. I look just at this plug. Look at that. In there. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, that smells nice. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, You're welcome. Thank you, Thank Jackie. you. Yes. That's so kind. But I do have some plugs. So. Please, please, please okay. plug away. Jackie's plug corner. That's the note on my phone. Okay, <laughs> first up, if you do live in Dallas, please go visit my sister's brew pub, Vector wow. Brewing in Lake Highlands. We got to go. Victor you have Brewing? to go. Vector. Vector Brewing. Yes. Okay. Can we go for Incredible. the podcast? Incredible. Yes, they okay, would okay. love that. Incredible beer. They win wow. the best of Dallas award. Like they're great. So please go eat at my sister's brew pub. That rules. I also recently discovered the Too Good to Go app. Do y'all know about this? No. no. There's this app called Too Good to Go. And what it is is restaurants that have leftover food at the end of the day sell it for like very discounted prices. And based on where you are, you can find places. And me in Highland Park, um, there's uh Kitchen Mouse, there's the coffee bean, there's uh Colorado Donuts is on there. Like, you can pay four dollars and you get like twenty dollars worth of food. Wow! So it's to eliminate food waste. That's great. Wow, and it, that's so great. this is also in the UK. It's very big in the UK. So if y'all have UK, the UK listeners, check out this app. I just recently found it, and it's a good way to get like Crikey. cheap food slash food waste. So you don't have a financial interest. In I have this. no, no. Wow. I just found it, and I thought it would be fun to shout it out. Um, great wreck. So now my shows: How to Get a Second Husband. Uh, April 21st, it's at Yam Dallas Lake Highlands, which is next door to my sister's brew pub. And when you buy a ticket, you get a free beer at her brew pub. So, how about that? And then April 28th is at Fallout Theater in downtown Austin. If you go to my Instagram at Jackie Michelle Johnson, click the bio link, and all the tickets are there. And then I want to say shout out to my Patreon honeys, patreon.com slash Jackie Johnson. Some of them are huge Doughboy listeners. Hell yeah. Wow, and I also want to say that. Every time I'm in public and I see one of my honeys, those are the Nashville listeners in the wild, and they're with their partner, the partner always goes, I love you on Doughboys. <laughs> always. 
<laughs> so like the male partners. So like shout out to the crossover oh. Natch Boot Doughboy listeners. Yeah. Oh yeah. And, cro- and my my Patreon honeys. Um, and if anyone wants to come to my Patreon, I basically just talk shit there, and it's so fun. So sign me up. Yeah, yeah. come hang out. I love come it. do a Q and A. Wow. You know what? If I do y'all's Patreon, I should make y'all come do my Patreon. It's true. Yes. Happy to do it. We could do an Tron AMA. for a Tron. Yeah, we'll I do a home yes. and home. Why not? Say Tron for a Tron? Yeah, Tron for a Tron. Pretty good. Thank you. Baby up in this bitch. <laughs> Those are all my plugs. <laughs> wow. Uh, definitely, definitely d- d- check out all Jackie's stuff. One of the funniest, one of the best. Thank you so much for yeah, making time for us. We'll have that. you back sooner than yeah, later. We'll, we'll figure out these know. Patreon crossovers. Yeah. And we'll, we'll make it all happen. But we'll, but thank you for being here. 7, 2027. I'll see everybody back on the show. Ooh, ooh, oh, for Boggs and I, 2027. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So far away, it like doesn't it? No, but that sounds like so old. Twenty twenty seven just sounds. That's insane. Yeah, three years into oh RFK Junior's gosh. administration. No, no. <laughs> oh no! Well, you got to check the that. expiration date on my fucking neck to see when I'm fucking done for. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, that'll do it for this episode of Doughboys. Until next time, for the Spoonman Mike Mitchell, I'm Nick Weiger. Happy eating. Shit, I didn't get it in time. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Yeah. Want to dress like the Doughboys? Get all your favorite Doughboys merch at doughboys.kinshipgoods.com. Sources for the intro are in the episode description.